Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the cutest cats who are very ready for the show. <laughs> yeah. Whew, as soon as I started putting on uh, the uh, chip tunes, they were like, oh, they is were, it that time they again? They were just like perched in outside the door, just waiting, waiting. I yes. got home from work. They didn't even come and say hi. <laughs> they were like, waiting oh, in front of the door. It's saying, been a while. It's nice to see you, but treats are coming, so we're just gonna wait here. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we have to get ready. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So welcome back. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh my cats. Oh, it didn't say treat. It's time. treat time. Oh, well. treat yum. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I guess we'll jump right into treat time. Yum, yum. yum no yum. treats for weeks. They oh, don't get any they, treats. Unless you no feed treats. them treats, they don't get any <laughs> treats. No, they get treats. Yeah. Teleprompter, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And while the cats are uh, doing their treats, I'll All read right. out the subscriber names. You were first, I think. There you go. Oh, he's like, <laughs> I'll grab it right out of the air. That was you. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Oh, let's get the cat cam. Are you keeping track? Yeah. Okay. Two one for Sprite. Uh, Al Lefer, Arkham H seven, Arm Scar Coder, Atari nine seventy four, Atari eight, Beer Pocock, Defender Charles Donnie Mao, Charles Whelan, Colonel Lama, Dionoid, DJ Justy, Doctor Mukaz, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer, Computer Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Great Invader, Croco twenty six hundred, Lambda Express, Lauren TTZ, Leo the Lao, uh, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Saying, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Mother three, Mister Zarno, Mister Fix, M Nostalgic. 26 pack rap vg coog 2600 raymond c rc70 rendered ghost brentless vg ricardo pim smitty 78 simi b 7800 spice where the d train the welsh man 89 tiki dan k and trek md and just before the show and just now these people also subscribed al nefer dan abc pack rap vg s ramirez 2008 dr moog cows and teleprompter through unto thank you so much for resubscribing and supporting the show and keeping uh, it ad free because you don't see ads when you subscribe. If you want to subscribe Meryl and get your name Bain. scrolling Meryl down the side, like for Ricardo Pim, just to subscribe, um, you can just hit subscribe. Um, and if you have Amazon Prime, you have to link it up. There's a little bit of info there for that. Who's winning? I think it's 8 6, but I was getting a little confused, but definitely Sprite. Oh, of course. <laughs> so 8 6 for eight, Sprite. Six. Nine six for Sprite. Oh. oh, nine seven. Oh, I think there's gonna be a winner. Oh, and it's ten <laughs> for Sprite. Ten seven. All right. Great. And then a consolation for Atari. Good kitties. Good kitties. Good kitties. Thank you. Who was that again? Who? No, uh, Sprite doesn't chew. Uh, Alnafer. Thank Redeem you. Alnafer. Treat time. Thank you so much. Yeah, he does eat them whole. Yeah, I just oh. <laughs> He's very, very fast. So today we have four games. Yes. Including two awesome. world premieres. Woo! Uh, first world premiere is Kovi Kovi uh, by Mashti mm -hmm. Games. Uh, uh, Mark Johannes, Marco J, who's in the chat tonight. Excellent. You can fill in some information if you're wondering more about that game. Nice. We're also going to be playing Food Ninja by Ricardo Sorry. Pim. Yeah. I'm not very uh, good at that game. You can guess what that game is. <laughs> but I can, yeah. Uh, and also, we're going to be playing Stellar Drive and also Strike Zone Bowling uh, by Edward Smith. Um, so, we do have a poll question. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is. Uh, yeah. It is to do with a... Any copyrighted music? Yeah. Accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally, yeah. Uh, so, the question is related to a forum post... Mm -hmm that I saw pop up recently about, uh, well, it, it was talking about, do you, do you buy homebrew? You just play the old games, but it kind of devolved into what is homebrew because of course that always if you're comes talking up as about homebrew, yeah. how do you define it? So yeah. people have to know what they're talking about. So I kind of gathered the big topics about what people were saying. Oh no, it's this or yes, it's this. Mm. Um, you can decide. Here you go. How do you, you out there, define homebrew? And you can uh, pick more than one answer here because it may be applicable. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Atari 2600, one, games made after the retail life of the console. Um, that's kind of my definition. That's yeah. it. That's the whole thing yeah. <laughs> for me. Uh, there are some uh, things. Uh, number two, made by only one person. Some people brought that up. 
in so, the chat. It's like, oh, if it's uh, made by a company, it's not homebrew. If it's made by a person, by themselves, then it's homebrew. Would you it's, also say uh, like a small group of people? Because a lot of the homebrews are well, I don't made say by... This at all, no, no, no. But, <laughs> but some might interpret it as like a small group small of group, amateur yes. programmers in exactly. the field, right? But then there's amateur. Do yes. they get paid for it? Oh, they're professional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, number three, sold by a developer directly. Somebody brought that up. Okay. Saying, oh, no, it can't go through a company. It's just homebrew. You Comes get it from right them. from the person. Hmm. Yeah. I is can see is that. Atari Age not a company? <sighs> yep. They see are. how it gets complicated? I know it does, yeah. but some people are bringing these up. Yeah. Uh, available mm -hmm. for free. Number four. It's okay. like, oh, well, you're, you're just a person. You're not a company. If you're making money, you're a company. So. Yeah. Homebrew has to be free. Yeah. And number five. Number five. Other. other. Make sure you type what you mean by other. <laughs> There's a lot of others it's there. A lot but of if, others, and I'd be like, if you like want to, to know. define what your other is, I have another. Oh. Uh, shows only played on the show. There you go. <laughs> Games only played. You're on the show, only yeah. real homebrew if zero page home, homebrew plays. Somebody, some people would argue that. <laughs> If you go look at the uh, might be a little the bit of discussion. a self self-centered uh, discussion. <laughs> yes, you know. uh, a lot of people do say, not define well, other. <laughs> we do not define other. There's only other. There's only other. <laughs> yeah. Um, so a lot of people um, saying one. Uh, most, yes, and then that's enough. how I would say it. Yeah. Um, because if the console's not sold anymore, it's kind yeah. of at end of life. Mm. But then there's a comp. Uh, this I'm talking about consoles at this yes, point. Yes, yes, yes. If you get into computers, that's a whole different realm mm. because homebrew could definitely be made during the run of a computer because the computer, you can program directly on it. Which is And a it's little... like, oh, I made this at home. I'm not a company. Yeah. It's homebrew, right? And also... That's why I'm like only 2600 or other consoles. And I would say during the life of a console, it's homebrew if you're not making it to sell in the oh. game market. So that goes to the free. But that's area. only during the console's run. Because yeah. I would think most people would say, even if you made it yourself, if you started selling it, at that point it's not so much homebrew anymore. Maybe. During the console's run. Yeah. So Number five, yeah. made by bedroom programmers. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh Hobby yeah. projects. A lot yeah. of people have slightly <laughs> different variations of what a homebrew is and mine mm -hmm. mine is very straightforward is the is the console sold anymore or mm -hmm. computer no it's all homebrew because mm -hmm. there is not really a mass market for it anymore yeah yeah it's it's more enthusiasts at Hi. that point but what, what, still what, it's open to a lot of interpretation what is your um what some is your say, definition hmm? some people say physical media too it's like is it on physical media yeah Maybe. So, yeah. Who knows? I'd say it's like trees. No real definition for what makes a tree, but every no no knows a tree, a tree is, is a tree. tree. Yeah. Oh, that's up for debated. Invested involved, <laughs> not homebrew. Interesting. That's that's that's, that's an another interesting way of definition. It. And that would Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would yeah, that's another definition. So that's under other. Yeah. But, um, but that's almost like saying no one no one sees any material worth in investing in this. That's right. I think meow counts as other too nostalgic. Did you hear him meowing over here? He was giving his opinion. Oh well, cats he was opinions meowing are, in my left ear. Cats so. opinions are important. They are. Meow. Meow. He's become more <laughs> vocal over the last little you while. You can't change to five, but you can no. add to five. Yeah. <laughs> um. So one is out ahead by quite a bit mm. and then five mm -hmm. and not many people are specifying five but some, some are. people are yeah. yeah and then made by only one person i can see that yeah 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 that definition or or even a small group of people and like so by developer directly 4.8 <clears throat> percent available for free is not getting any love so no that's okay yeah. uh so we have been off the air for a while How almost long? a month what yeah. no yeah february it, I don't know when was oh February twenty fifth, so almost a month, three weeks, under just over three weeks. Just over three weeks. So wow. there's a bunch of mail. Wow. Um, let's see if I can. That's a long time. Pick this one up without giving away anything. Um, this one I opened up because I was doing some testing with it, mm -hmm. and I can show you. I'm not gonna unbox it because I'm just gonna take it out of the box. Mm -hmm. I put it back in the plastic. Um, so this is a new joystick, new, uh, 
very pretty. Arcade style joystick with two pretty. buttons. Very, very pretty. Yeah. Let's go to the cat cam so I can show you more. Yeah. This cat is a rummager. <laughs> he likes to get into plastic bags. So uh, there's the joystick. Um, and it's got two buttons. That's and really nice. And it's also got nice. a special button on the side. Ooh, what's the special button for? To go between 2600 mode. Oh, I can and see. It has mode. really lovely decals on it too, like like There's on the side directions. by the button too, with the 2600 oh, and 7800 yeah. there. So it shows you. Very nice. The different modes. Look at that. There you go. Like that. And uh, this was sent specially to me. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. Viking video bombs? What is that? Games. Games. <laughs> It's uh, very hard to see. <laughs> yeah, it's not really focusing. I was a little off. <laughs> Viking video games it's makes a, serial, a lot more sense. Serial number prototype. <laughs> this is a prototype of the joystick. <laughs> um, uh, model number VVG VMC HD01. Um, so let's look a little bit more about this joystick. Uh, where is my... It's been a little while. There we go. Second monitor, that one. Teleprompter says 23 days, oh, five God. hours, and 35 minutes. Who's counting oh, since you were last on? <laughs> I can tell you who has been. These cats, these cats, these cats have, been counting. have been waiting in front of his, his office door for days now. Weeks. Yeah. 23 days. Are you going to let us sit so and feed joystick, us treats? <laughs> this joystick is by Double Down. Yep. Uh, who makes really, really high end joysticks. Yeah. Um, and this is probably their smallest joystick they've ever made. In an experiment to determine how small of an enclosure I could find to build a new high quality Atari controller into, I developed this. Mm -hmm. I present to you my VVG microcontroller, codename Hot Dog. It's mm. a homebrew joystick, yes. Mm -hmm. It's made by one person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Surpac 17 uh, two piece molded ABS slope top enclosure is just enough, enough to house the necessary controllers. Mm. Uh, so there is authentic arcade bits in it. You mm. can read about that. Uh, but there's a magic button, the latching push button switch with bi black white indicating cap on the side of the enclosure allows the user to change up the wiring of the buttons. It's so uh, cool. It's only uh, wow. uh, guaranteed for uh, 20 presses. So I think you've used up half just there. I uh, know. Uh, offering two unique modes. Uh, mode one, 2600 eight bit SMS. Two button mode for 2600 and eight bit homebrews and the hacks that are programmed for two button compatibility, as well as any one button games, of course, and as a two button controller for the Sega Master System, as I just found out yesterday. Uh, mode two, 7800, two button mode uh, for one or two button 7800 games. He says, that's right, this new micro joystick is close to a do all controller for most of your 2600, 8 bit, 7800, and Sega Master System gameplay needs not compatible with games that require special peripherals such as paddle controller, light gun, or uh, similar, obviously. Um, so I was very interested in this one because of its compatibility with Sega Master System. Oh, nice. Because I use a Sega Master System controller on the Lynx oh, uh, console-wise. Okay, okay. Um, now I am working through some issues with that. So it's not 100%? It is... Not right now. Okay. And um, so I have to figure that out between the person who did the uh, s the links okay. consoleized and the person who made this. Okay. So I need to figure that out whether it will It'll be because it doesn't completely work right now. Mm -hmm. But this is a prototype. It is not actually for sale yet. Oh, okay. As far as I know. Really? Oh, that's cool. Um, so I don't think he's. Uh, it's two pages. But as far as I know, uh, he hasn't. Oh, there's another Ooh, one. That's pretty. He I'm hasn't liking, offered I'm liking, them for I'm liking sale the on yet. It. Yeah. Um, very nice. But it's very, very cool. Oh, no. No Joy 2B plus compatibility. I'd push the, put the magic button on the back, by the way. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to have their own different opinions of where yeah. buttons go, whether they should be straight. Yeah. You or... don't want your hand to hit it as you're playing, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, I the back would probably be better. I believe yeah. this is it's nice, though. Genesis compatible. <laughs> oh, Not okay. The Joy 2B Plus, because there is more Genesis controller hacks okay. out there than Joy 2B Plus. Okay. If I'm correct. Okay. Chanya needs one too. We have more than enough controllers. 
<laughs> Tanya will use it, and he can use another and joystick. And I have joysticks <laughs> that already are compatible with 2600 and 7800. Not yeah. the Genesis, but I do have Genesis controllers. Yeah. Um, so that's what this joystick is about, and we'll be uh, looking into it a little bit deeper in days coming once I figure out some of the uh, things that are going on with it that I'm talking with Double Down about. Very nice. But I love Very the nice. look of it and the construction of it. Yeah. Let's see. No, nope, that side's okay. Ooh, we'll open up this box. next box. I've got a very calm and happy black kitten here right now. Oh, good. He's full of treats. For the next, you know, 10 minutes, and then I'll start, start crying again. Of course um, he will. Hello, Rendered Ghost. Welcome to the show. Yes, welcome, everybody. I'm glad people haven't forgot about I the show. I know. Lots of people in the oh, chat. Sure. They've been waiting We've patiently. We've been on break. Waiting patiently. We, we, you can talk all about your break when oh, yeah, yeah. we go through our... Uh... Got lots to go through. Oh, yeah. So... Hello, Chalcedony Meow. Chalcedony Meow. Yes. It is in a plastic bag. Oh, oh, the black kin is, is interested. Yeah, things to investigate. Noisy things. Yes, uh, someone did, did point out his tail is fluffier. I don't know how it gets fluffier, but it just seems to always get fluffier. Kitten. No. <laughs> He's trouble. Let's take a look at this uh, in the cat cam. So this is DD Retro Mods. Uh, there's another piece of paper in there. Uh, let's take a look at the paper. Don't look at that yet. Don't look at it. I'm looking at it. Don't look at it. Ooh. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. Let's see what this piece of paper says. Oh. Just uh, links to instructions. So that's good. Instructions are good. So here is what it is. Can you guess what it is? Some of you know what this is. It is, in as far as I know, the first arcade style in television controller. So don't have to wow. fiddle with those terrible, terrible little circles. Kittens, come on, come on. <laughs> Um, I have been wanting one of these for such a long time wow. because I really dislike the Intellivision the controllers. Intellivision controllers. They're pretty awful. They're, I just find them so imprecise. You just don't know exactly yeah. which direction you're pressing. And mm. they spin when they don't need to spin because the spinning doesn't do anything. But anyway, I was so happy when I saw this. It's got all the three buttons and it's got the... Ooh. They have a nice overlay pad as well. Texture that's really nice. Um, and it's got a joystick, a normal joystick. Mm -hmm. um, there was a review that uh, somebody posted, a video yeah. review of this. They were not so happy with this. Really? Controller. Um, they were really picky. Like, okay. Like, but I did would they never really pick. like the old controller then? Does anyone they really do. like the old oh, controller? Oh, there's, there's big fans of that, yeah. Um, one thing they didn't like is this is an eight-way joystick. Okay. Well, four-way, but um, and they were they were wanting a sixteen-way controller because mm. some games have sixteen-way controls. Mm. Very few, and I don't but think you exist. can actually buy one <laughs> like with sixteen ways. With like 16 in, a, in ways. an arcade-style stick. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yes, the disc does do sixteen directions. Wow. Which but is, not all games need sixteen. Uh, very few. Okay. Very few. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so you would not be able to play those games mm. properly. Maybe not at all. Um, I'm not intimately familiar with the Intellivision and its controller and how that works. How but it works. Yeah. I'm guessing you would just miss those extra directions. Mm. Um, but this is just a godsend. This is. I'm so happy about this. Um, so this is wired for Intellivision 2, so you can plug it in directly. Okay. But if you have an Intellivision 1, you can also get adapter? this adapter so it can go inside and plug very directly nice. on that. Yeah. Very, very nice. Has to be 16 directions or else. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get a chance to start my Atari game project yet? Unfortunately, no. No, I have not started programming yet. I've been so busy. Yeah. But, but he'll mean, talk I... about what he's been doing, which yes, is exciting. Yes, exactly. But yeah. Uh, not, yeah. So this will be great for our next Intellivision stream, so I can actually play it. Mm. Um, I will have to wire it in because my RGB Intellivision is an Intellivision One, so it has to go inside. Yeah, but that is fine. 
So, uh, yeah, that is available. You can buy that right now. Mm. What's that cat up to? Is no he good. up to anything? Where is he? I don't know. I don't even know where he is. Uh, let's get to the next piece of mail. Oh my that goodness, has that's a lot info of mail. all over it. So oh no! Hide it. I gotta hide it for a second. <laughs> Make sure it's I not. I don't want to give away cam. give away other people's addresses. No, that's yeah. or our address or ours. Yeah. So. I mean, you have a you have a box. Privacy for... is good. Privacy I do. Is Some good. of these don't go to the box. Yeah. Some of them do. So I think I can kind of no no. Just pull, just, pull just pull it just out. Just pull it out and then show it. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's good. Better, better, better. better. Mess. Okay. Let's go to the cat cam. Again. It's from Kitten, where are you? Black lighter. Ultraviolet. <gasps> Can you guess what Ooh. this is? Ooh. And a backing card with their name on it again. Oh, no, they're in sleeves. Ooh, very nice. Didn't expect sleeves backing card to keep them all straight. These are very special UV activated overlays. Here we go. One is labeled sky attack. One is labeled moon and one is labeled grid. Let's take a look at this. Vectrex, uh, yep. yes. Vectrex for the win. Next invalid television stream. They're, uh, they're not frequent, but we will do one. <laughs> Smitty B, I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> this one's called Sky Attack. Oh. And if you have the UV overlay, you can see. You can bottom. see a little bit of the pattern there. You can yeah. See the grid on the bottom. You tilt it back again, back Over and back. forth. Yeah. You can kind of see it there when yeah. when it yeah when it shines. Oh, there's a good yeah. spot. Yeah. Very nice. Really, really nice. So yeah. That is Sky Attack what it's labeled. These are generic overlays. They're not for specific games. So you just pick which one you think works the best with uh, the game you're playing. Yeah. That is something, all the overlays you've gotten is something we're going to have to demonstrate in our next oh, Vectrix show. Whenever. Definitely. Yeah. Here's another one. Don't think it has any pattern on it. Pattern. Yeah. It's hard to see. No, it does. Does it? it does. It has like a dome or a, a planet at oh, the bottom. Oh, there it is. A moon. There's a yeah, moon. Yeah, this one's called Moon. Nice. Nice, 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 again. nice. Having a lot of trouble focusing. Yeah. Let's get, give it something to focus on because it doesn't know what to do with this. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the moon there. Yeah. I mm. mean, these are all specially activated with UV light, mm. which the person who I'm trying to get the UV attachment has not answered me. So we might have to soon. make do with our own then. Yeah. <laughs> do we have a UV? I have to buy one. Uh, and this one is labeled Grid. Oh, there we go. Oh, where did you come from? The cat just jumped across the floor there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see a grid. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, we definitely need the UV light. Oh, oh, there's a spot. Watch that cat. Yeah, you can see a grid. It's it's completely a grid that goes towards the center. Mm. Oh, oh, there, there you, go. you go. Wow. Very nice. A hallway, yeah. Wow. So if you have a game that kind of centers on the middle and everything, like you're in the center, um, like Vector Pilot or something, it would be very good for Vector Pilot. Okay, on to the next thing which will be oh my goodness he's got a lot of stuff i don't know which is which let's just open up <laughs> Have the uh cutter yeah the cat started playing it with it so be careful bad cat he's a bad cat oh he's back on the floor now oh good and see what this is it's very well wrapped Good. Which is very good. Ugh. I'm always scared opening these things. Cause my, am I going to cut something that's important? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's in an anti static bag as well. Oh, oh, oh. Two of them. 
do have the catnip. We do have the catnip. Yes, we do. Okay, this is not really gaming specific, but it's interesting. No cat. <laughs> Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Thank you. Why is the voice delayed? All right. Who? I didn't hear a voice at all. Party time for kittens. Are you going to have some? Cut this open. Are you We're here. Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. <laughs> that was really delayed. Really delayed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So, what this is... I'll give it to them once James is done, so... Very, very specific electronic hardware. What this does is ground isolates USB devices. Uh, I don't believe it passes data. It does pass power. So if you get a ground loop because of something that you're plugging in, um, to a USB device, this will get rid of that hum. Kitten. 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 And I bought it specifically for oh. one thing. Kitten, I'm come putting, on. Putting this down, you can flip it back. Okay. Um, it ready? is for... Are you ready? Delayed and extra loud. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Let me turn that down. There you go. Oh, it's all over. So, so this, of course. So this is specifically for our um, transmitter, for our earbuds, when we have a um, a guest on, because the thing charges through USB, but it also plugs into the computer. <laughs> He's lost it. Sorry. Yeah, it charges <laughs> by USB and also plugs into the computer. So it creates a ground loop. Okay. Which makes a hum. And no matter where you plug it in, even if it's not in, plugged into the computer, it goes hum, and you can hear it, and it broadcasts it. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. So I bought that so I can keep that plugged in. I don't need to fear it running out of battery. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Okay. But that's not very, that's not like Super retro exciting. gaming yeah. or <laughs> homebrew related at all. Yeah. Just something that, you know, might as well open it. Okay. And to the last one. I don't know what this is. Okay, so for some reason, Sprite is super excited about the catnip now. He's yeah. covered in it. Oh, good. He's covered in catnip. Learning. And we did learn that cats only get excited after about one year. Yeah. And he yeah. had his birthday recently. Yeah, he just turned last one. Last month. Yeah. I think it was last month. Last month or this month? I think it was last it month. It was this past month. It yeah. was just before the awards, yes. I think. Yeah, yeah it was his, his little one-year birthday. Aww. Yes, you are just covered. Atari, did you get any catnip at all? He's like, no, he this guy He's just took staring at him, like, what's going on? So let's see what this is. This is also very specific. Very specific. It is a SCART reverser um it's an a backward scart adapter because i don't know why they did this but the retro tink 5x you can see it right there puts the cable forward as opposed to backwards like all of its other cables oh so whenever you connect a scart to it it's always it sticks forward it forward sticking out uh -huh. But this is a backwards one. Nice. So it goes in like this. And so everything will go backwards and I can push this forward again. RC70 says, sounds like a cool name for a band. What is that? Reverse Scart Adapter? Is Reverse that what? Reverse Scart Adapter. <laughs> that is a pretty cool name. I'm just making up that name. I'm not yeah. sure what exactly it's called. But yeah. uh, it is super <laughs> specific. Uh, There's yeah. only really, like it's labeled. Scart Reverser. Scart, Scart Reverser. Reverser, yeah. It's labeled specifically for that device. There is no other use for this because all the other SCART things go the other way. I'm not sure why they it's, did that. It's like, but it was a big complaint when it came out. It's like electronics with planned obsolescence that you know that the boards are just going to go after five years. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we have this amazing piece of electronic equipment. Oh, by the way, you need all these unique <laughs> bespoke cords oh, with God, plugs yes. that only work with this one system. <laughs> That's how it is. Yep. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. 
Do you want to make some skirt reverser? Wow, that's a throwback. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's all the uh, mail. Now onto the news. It's the first day of spring today. Is it? It is. Yay! Yay we <laughs> made it through the winter. Yeah, March 20th, awesome. 2023. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. The show is not back regularly. We just, too much stuff built up and we had to do a show. Of course. <laughs> it's like too many things. Yeah. Had to do a show. So we're not fully back to the schedule. I don't know when that'll be. Hopefully soon soon ish maybe yeah. i don't know i don't know we'll see it's up to him um <laughs> and also went to uh melbourne australia yeah. recently and we'll talk more about that during yeah. the show which is um and i met uh, mk smith matt smith oh nice uh in melbourne because yeah. he lives nearby um and i went to an arcade bar tronica and i got uh as i'll show this now I like to at least keep one coin from all the uh, barcades. All the tokens. Yeah. And there we go. Yay, Bartronica. I think it's very generic on the other side. Amusement only. Not for serious gambling. It's only for fun. Very funny. Do not be serious with this coin. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you all about that bar as yeah. we play. Okay. Remind me. Is it heavy? What's heavy? <laughs> I don't know. The coin? No. The token. Really. Yeah. It's, uh, I'd say medium. Yeah. It's not light like plastic, but it's not like super heavy. Yeah. It's not like a, a quarter. It's a little bit a little lighter, lighter than, than, a quarter, than a quarter. A Canadian quarter. Mm -hmm. U.S. quarter is about the same, I think. Yeah. You, if you aren't amused, you may not use that coin. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You must be amused. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I'll talk more about uh, Melbourne and yeah. uh, that arcade in a bit. Uh, there was an interesting hack by, of Astro Blast by oh. Thomas Yench okay. that goes further on with his experimentation with the driving controller. Remember we had that yes. thing on the screen that moved back and forth yes, yes, fast yes. and slow, yeah. depending on how quick or slowly you turn the driving controller. Mm -hmm. I think that's a revolutionary idea uh, and can make a lot of amazing games with this. Mm -hmm. So he has incorporated it into an existing game oh. so we can see how well it works. Nice. And it's Astro Blast, so we're gonna quickly look at that. Have a try. Yep. And see how it works. Yeah, it's a pretty nice token. I like when arcades have um, specific tokens mm -hmm. for themselves. I do too. It's kind of a nice addition. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> What's interesting? Oh, the... Uh, the hack, yeah. Mm -hmm. so let's turn that on. Uh, are we good? Yeah, we're going. Okay. Oh, oh. Ah, I might as well leave that on. <laughs> the cartridge? Yeah. Okay. Let's switch it over. And I still have joystick one plugged in. So this should be able to select the game. Uh, Master Blast. Our controller hack. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Press button. There we go. Oh, I see. Now you should be able to move slow and quick with it. Okay. Depending on how fast you spin it. Oh. Now this is um, also played with uh, paddles and joystick. Oh, not quite used <laughs> to the slow to fast. I think that's... Yeah. Oh my goodness. If you spin it too fast, it doesn't go. That, I think that's kind of the issue. There's only 16 little Because you don't move, you can... Yeah, it's a little... A little um... He did, he did say that this was not the best use of it. I think it almost needs more sensitivity. A little bit faster? Like the slow is too slow? Well, yeah, sometimes you barely move. Okay. But it's cool. 
Uh, to be able to compare my code with real paddle precision, I went ahead and hacked Astro Blast using paddles or driving controller. You can either play with paddles in the left port or the driving controller in the right port. Each game starts with paddles enabled, but as soon as you turn the DC wheel, the code will detect the DC and switch control to it. Getting a bit better. Oh, my turn. See how it is. It's a little awkward. The slow movement oh is really slow. <laughs> yes. And it almost like the slow movement needs to be a little yeah, faster. Yeah, you can get really precise. But but it's very hard to move. Oops. A medium amount, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh. 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 Did I run out again? I love paddle games, says Vitoko. Yep. Let's Game see. sound is delayed. Hmm. Is it? Okay. Is it? I'll make sure we can uh... let me know if it's still delayed Hopefully it's still delayed. seems good okay good. thank you yeah this is not the best use for the for the d driving controller i think it's just it's too slow, slow at the slow. slow yeah um it makes it hard to move precisely yeah it just the ramp up needs to be a little different there's mm -hmm. it's either like slow a uh, really slow slow or fast mm -hmm. yeah the but he, he admitted it's it's not the best uh, use of it. i would say that is it's correct. cool though it's cool. yes because you can move slow and you can move fast and um and people might be asking well, why don't you just use a paddle well the paddle takes up a lot of the processor time to read the paddle mm -hmm. like you have to read it every line of code every um line on, on the screen oh i said hit that right in the dead center and yeah got rid of all all the three oh that's interesting yeah you you're not yeah. getting any score though because so many are getting passed oh yeah um, just destroying me almost hard to play it's <laughs> it's you my the score is zero so yeah it yeah. makes it much harder to play mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, there's some, uh, sad news, unfortunately. Mm. Um, it was posted in the Atari Age forum a couple days ago that we lost, uh, community member Andreas Gustafsson, mm. SDW, who passed away on March 11th. Um, he was an extremely prolific in the demo scene mm. and also the developer of Spaceman Splorf, mm. uh, for the 2600 and C64. Uh, he also, he not only made demos for the 2600, but also for the C64, ZX Spectrum, VIC-20, Atari ST, SMS, Windows and Amiga, just mm. dozens and dozens and dozens of demos, just endless, mm. endless. Um, one of the last things he did was Snow Day for the 2600, a demo. Mm. Um, with Mermaid, who did the graphics and music, and we're gonna take a look at that right now if the cat doesn't attack my water. Uh, okay, let's see. And then we're just gonna play a little bit of Spaceman Splorf. His um, his demos were absolutely astounding, and um, Mermaid did uh, I think most or if not all of the music, mm -hmm. or at least it, the recent ones. This one's really really cute. So it's this one so was cute. made last month in February. Wow. Like really really good use of animation mm -hmm. and. The characters the screen and you can see you put the dog where the tree um tree trunk is yeah and the tree trunk is like made of i don't know it could be um the ball mm -hmm. um so you could make the bird and detail branches yeah this is a 2600 it's absolutely amazing huh? really good
looks like it's on the list. Yeah. Ah! There we go. Turbo. Okay, uh, let's take a look at another one of his demos. Which was... Another one that blew me away. What? Where is it? No! <laughs> oh, um, no. I downloaded it and gone oh we can look at the other one um another one was liquid candy mm -hmm. that he made it's just gorgeous i uh, made uh egypt 2600 bc liquid candy mr caterpillar noise 2600 silly filler snow day Safara, Stella Run, SV2K11, just, just, that's just some of them. Wow. For the 2600. Gorgeous. Some of the different parts of it. Always uh, yeah. a favorite, the twisty, wavy thing wavy on thing. the screen. <laughs> Yeah, Kev Kelly says, I love the dog, but this has some NES vibes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially this screen. Yeah. Really, really nice. There, look at that. That's nice. Just gorgeous, using play feel to yeah. really good effect. Ooh. Yeah, it's just play feel. <laughs> really, really nice. Oh, there you go. 3D Coke bottles spinning around, made up of points. Absolutely. Using the um, offset chess trick okay. to display uh, all, all across the screen. Very, very nice. And now we're going to play his one game that I know that he's made. I don't know if he's ever made every, any, any other, other game. games. Mm. And uh, we were honored to be the world premiere for this game. Oh, yeah. When it came out. So let's switch over to that. And it is beautiful. And you can instantly tell that it was made by somebody from the demo scene. Mm. Because of the colors and just, just the complete look of it. Remember this one? Yes. So you, you, you you're dodging, right? You yes. don't shoot. It's a one button game. Yeah. And you're dodging all the uh, space space rocks. Space rocks are beautiful. <laughs> yes, they have this beautiful shadow and darkness uh, on the underneath, a bit of color, um, which is, I'm guessing, reflecting the green at the bottom here. And the, uh, the theme of this game, is, or the, the plot of this game, is that you've lost your spanner in space and you have to go retrieve it. So you're floating. Just outside your ship. Um, and when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is a 2600. <laughs> this yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. It is a 2600. Oh. Um, and um, there was a patch offered for this. Yes. I think we had to get 6,000 points or 8,000. And we did get the patch. Yes. It was offered by um, Pack Rat. I think it's still there. I think, yeah. The, I don't know the... if he's out of patches, but he's in the chat. Yes, yeah. You can patch. answer if there's I think any the patches. The patch is over there. Hold on. I'll show the patch. Yeah, Mr. Ramirez. Got my CID patch and coaster. Oh, yes, coaster as well. That's right. Oh, the music's amazing. The, the colors and the graphics. And really good use of vertical uh, space, which is the strength of the 2600. I thought we play this uh, just a little bit today to honor his, uh... Let me switch over to the cat. Carl G, you will 
don't have to break down your coffee after the show. That's right. Yeah. Put in some put in some good scores for him. Yeah. S. Ramirez, personal high score is 2,124. Oh my god. Wow. I think mine is in the nine eight or nine thousand. You, you, it's on you the got website. the patch. I did yeah, get yeah. the patch. Hagrid says, I have box copies left too for sale in a few months from, from Good Deal Games. Ah, excellent. And I think Mermaid is going to um, release the ROM. Uh, the PAL version of the ROM is already out. Mm. Um, you can find links in the Atari H forums for that. And I think she'll be released the NTSC ROM at some mm. point. Coordinating with that with Jackrat, of course. Um, but if you want, like it on hard copy, um, put over the pack wrap. VG website, in order. And it gets awkward. 4,000 plus for pack, 8,000 plus for coaster. 4,000. Oh, the coaster was more. Oh, yeah. that's what. Okay. According to uh, Ah. Uh, oh. Wait for the patch. You can do it. Mermaid gave me uh, permission to release the ROM by year end. Okay, cool. There you go. So, patch is still available. Poster is still available. Let's see. You're better at this than me. <laughs> I love the wavy. Oh, bottom. it's right to the top. The limits at the top and bottom of this I know game. <laughs> A lovely, relaxing game to play. Yes. It is. With the stars it does and have the that colors. kind of mobile game kind of feel to it, eh? Just yeah. Yeah. Very simple. simple. But gorgeous. Oh, too oh, much. Oh, too hard. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a great party game. Yes. Yes, it is. Very easy to understand. And wonderful music in the background too, like just oh, yeah. bouncy. So you can see how it, it came from the demo scene. Yes. It's like, oh, super good music, super good graphics. Mm -hmm. um, but most, it's funny, there's not a lot of crossover between people who make games <laughs> and people who make games. They seem to be very, very separate. So th Different scenes, but obviously yeah. he uh, was inspired, right? So, yeah. so there it is. I love all the, uh, all the, the characters. I love the... Um, not the animation, but the drawings for the game. Yeah. All of it is great. Oh, cat. Really? As soon as I get up. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Little black kitten. Yes. Oh, okay. Are you high still? Yeah. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he seems a little. A little. He seems happy. So it, uh, yeah, unfortunate loss. For the community. It is. Yeah. It's um, very sad. Yeah, it is very sad. It sounds like it was rather sudden too. Yes, it was. Yeah. 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 People can look into that yes. if they want to. Um, so the first game we're gonna be playing tonight. Mm -hmm. Hi Kitty. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, vicious. Uh is Covey Covey, uh, by Mashti Games by Mark Johannes. Mm -hmm. Marco J was in the chat. Mm -hmm. Uh this is a world exclusive premiere. <gasps> I get to play the intro. Yeah. Um. Okay. So uh, this can be played with two buttons okay. on the Genesis. Which okay. controller would you like? Would you like this? Or would you like this? Well, okay. I can switch back. We can switch, switch back and forth. Yeah. I, it's already plugged in, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna plug this into the second. I'm one. not too uh, too picky. Too picky? No. no, it's it's very playable. It's with hard to tell just one button as well. until you play. So, so I can't one. use these two buttons. Uh, no, it okay. doesn't work like that. Fair enough. Okay, so.
inviting me. So go to Ram shared with me. And I will get out the instructions. You mean my ROMs? Oh, those. That's ROMs my ROMs me. versus ROM shared with me. Yes, that's people sharing with me. That's a funny to Kobe, Kobe. way to describe it. But yes, Kobe, Kobe. Uh, so this uh, this build is from today in TSC. Yep. It just kept keep, kept going. <laughs> oh, Packrat said he did Vec Vectrex gone for Vectrex too. Oh, did he? Um, and Andreas. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't even know he did Vectrex stuff. Yeah. Very prolific. Yeah. So this is the 16K game. Uh, the colors on the screen are intentional. Um, let's see the uh, title there. Kobe, Kobe. Yeah. Mashed games. There. Music made with TIA Tracker. Shout out to Zero oh. Page Homebrew Armscar Arm Coder Kobe. Yay. and Atari. Yay. Kobe, Kobe. Kobe. Um. So the story. The Kobe virus is spreading, multiplying, and mutating. Time to time to take charge and administrator vaccines to eliminate the five different strains of the Kobe virus. Okay. Kobe, I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, score higher by eliminating many Kobe viruses within mm -hmm. a single turn. Mm -hmm. Beware of viruses filling up and overrunning the game board. Mm -hmm. uh, Gameplay. Well, we'll get into this. How about you play a single player? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the music is really, really good. So we'll go one player, mm -hmm. and we'll play two player after. Press button. So there's three musical tracks. Uh, three mode. Um, how many modes? Uh, I'll read about that later. Probably you just want to go mode A, mode A, um, music A, mode A, match A. What am I doing? Stack? I mean, what what is going oh, on here? Oh, you're in the bottom. Go up one, down one. There you go. You want one zero? Go to match A. Ratio. ratio. Go up one. But what what is that supposed to be? We'll figure it out. No, but I was accidentally clicking on things because I thought I was oh, in the upper half. It'll change once you change match. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's like personalizing. Oh, so go down there. I see. Okay. There you go. Never mind. <laughs> I just couldn't tell what I was on because it's quite flickery. Yeah. Okay. Music B. Uh, just music A because we haven't heard A. I yet. know. I'm just I'm just flipping through. Yep. Mode A, mode B, gotcha, match A. Okay. Let's see. A, A, okay. A it is. Here's the information. Oh. Okay. So you have a blue uh, syringe and you want to put it on either other blue syringes or blue guys. Okay. So if you've ever played Doctor Mario very very similar except you can only get rid of guys with the syringe gotcha so you want to make clusters of them and there you go now with the syringes they have direction I so if you press down the direction of the syringe is down press left it'll get something to the left oh welcome deactive De deactivate deactivated styles welcome the rating with a party of four Yes, very much like Dr. Mario. I don't know what I did there. Something bad. Oh, I Didn't quite it. work the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. It is very Dr. Mario, and the, and the music, too. It is very Dr. Mario, yeah. But it has very different... Different um, gameplay. Different gameplay. So, gameplay. The screen is a game board which holds the game pieces. In each turn, two game pieces will follow. The pieces will either be two Kobe's or one Kobe and a vaccine meal. Very nice. The player can rotate the pieces where desired to fall onto the other pieces in the board. The two pieces will be split apart as they land. So if you get one on a high shelf, the other one will fall down. Uh, players with a Sega Genesis uh, style gamepad can rotate the pieces in either direction. Between turns, it is also possible to change the orientation of the pieces before they drop. Mm. So you can see your next one on the top right. Mm -hmm. You can change that if you want to do it ahead of time. Oh, before they even drop? Yeah. No. Yeah. As before they drop. As the, soon as you put down your piece and it hits, you can oh, start, then you can start, start rotating. rotating it. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. 
Nice twist on gameplay with needle directions, Kev Kelly says. Yeah. Looks cool. This is interesting. Deactivated style says. Yeah. Oh, get that big one. Nom 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 nom. And if you look, each of the little uh, coveys has little animations. And as you match them up, they start talking to each other. Yeah, it you is funny. You can see funny. they go, hi, 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 yeah. hi, hi. <laughs> and they all have, like, a lot of different animations. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. Some have big mouths, some have legs. Super cute. They are very cute. Double Tetris. Psst, psst. What is the cat doing? It's getting close to the wire. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. It's, it's, yeah, there's, there's no chance. A few little glitches here. Just one. I like the animation on the virus tiles are quite full of character nostalgia uh, says. Uh, okay, let's continue on. Covey strains. There are five known strains of the virus. Blue, green, pink, yellow, and white. You can see the white one on the right hand side there. Um, the viruses like to cluster together with their own kind, except for white covey, which are individualistic. Uh, a vaccine needle will eliminate the Covey strain of the same color. White Covey are also eliminated from nearby dying strains of other I colors. noticed that, yeah. This is four in the corner going back, 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 back all together. So they not only recognize ones above and below them, but they recognize like to the sides and at an angle. And they all have different animations depending on where they are in relation to each other. Uh, okay, where are we? Oh, sometimes Kobe vaccines are dropped. The blue, green, pink, yellow needles have the same chance of appearing, whilst the white needles appear half as often as other colors. The white needles are special in that they can also destroy other virus strains. Uh, injecting a Kobe with the wrong vaccine will cause the strain to turn into a white Kobe. So you don't want to ah. get the needle wrong. It'll turn into a white one. Oh, this is uh, a 16K game. Uh, and the developer also made Lord of Biscay, Modern Battle, and Pit Cat. So if you've seen Pit Cat, you can kind of recognize a bit of the, 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 the look that they have for, like Marco has for his games. And also Lord of Biscay as well. So the white one will also get rid of other colors. Oh, it's a, like, like a catch-all. Gotcha. White will get rid of everything, That's but you really do want to use it for white viruses. Yes, yeah, but possible. I, had no, I had none, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kobe vaccine needle placement. Needles can be positioned up, down, left, or right. When needles uh, land, they have potential to open up in the left, down, and right positions. When placed in the upright position, the needle is closed until it falls down later. Mm. Oh, the white one. Uh, needles will automatically open up and potentially inject other Covey as they fall. It is possible to create a chain reaction with multiple closed needles within a single turn when space is created under the needles as they fall down. That's, that sounds very difficult to do. <laughs> So as when they fall, it closes and then injects into it. Debris management. Beware, injecting a white Covey with a non-white vaccine will create a debris field to appear, which is difficult to remove. So definitely do not inject a white Covey with a non-white needle. Okay. Um, this also occurs when needles collide with each other. So don't put a needle on a needle. Debris will fall down progressively as the space is made underneath. When debris gets to the bottom of the map, it'll disappear. Ooh, so debris looks different. Mm. Basic scoring. A single green, pink, blue, yellow Covey eliminated is one point. You see the score on the bottom right? That's a vertical score. Which is very interesting. Um, when the two are joined together, the score is three points. When three are joined together, the score is six points. This pattern escalates up as the chain gets longer. So you really do want to make chains. You don't want to necessarily eliminate. Because that gives you just the basic score. Um, 
uh, for example, a chain of 10 Kobe will score 55 points, as opposed to just 10 points for individual Elementian Kobe, Kobe separately. Weight Kobe score po 4 points each. Chain reaction scoring. When needles fall down into Kobe and start a new elimination chain directly after another chain, this will result in chain reaction scoring. For the first chain reaction, the score is doubled. For the second reaction, the score is quadrupled. For the third, multiplied by eight, it becomes lucrative to engineer chain reactions. So to do that, you would have to place, you'd be like doing layers. You'd have like a green layer yeah. and a yellow Waiting layer. Waiting for a specific... Then you would put a yellow needle, or then you'd start propping up needles on top to fall underneath to make chain reactions. Carson said, he said, just getting the name Kobe. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I've, I've known about this game for years, but I just, while reading the instructions, you don't say them out loud, right? No. Or in context. Uh, game modes. There are two modes available, marathon and sprint. In Marathon the game, the mode will last until the player's board is filled up. Every 16 Kobe chains, the rate of pieces falling will gradually increase until the highest speed of 9 is reached. In Sprint mode, the game will end after 32 Kobe chains are formed. The speed will not increase. So, uh, game mode. I'm not sure which one we're on. We're on A. A. A so everything I'm right now. Guessing this one does speed up. Still pretty slow. Um, Two-player mode. Players take turns of playing on their own game boards. If a player scores a chain of at least four Kobe's, a nuisance Kobe will be thrown into the opposite opponent's board on their next turn. Nice. With at least eight Kobe, two pieces are thrown. Likewise, with 12, 16, 20, 3, 4, and 5 Kobe's respectively thrown onto the opponent's field. So it is not playing individually, it is head-to-head. -head. Uh, the player who runs out of space first loses the game. In game mode B, if the player survives the 32 chains, the player with the highest score wins. Plus card, high score club. So this is already in conjunction with the uh, plus card high score. There's already a table for high scores. So you'll be on that after you play the game. Oh, I missed what happened. Uh, sometimes the, the goat disappears. Oh, uh, the Kobe disappeared? No, the um, um, syringe. Oh. Interesting. And it didn't get rid of there. anything? No, because it disappeared before it landed. So oh, I don't know if I hit something. Did I see you lose a piece when you rotated right at the top? It looked like you lost a needle. Yes, that's exactly what happened. And the needle, like, completely disappeared? Like you rotated at the top and it never came back and you had one piece dropping? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Graphics are made with Playfield. Oh, no. They are made with. Um, they're made with uh, player graphics, but like the old game of chess, it's alternating each player. Um, so you can see they're like there's a line. They're made of lines, and then space, line, space, line, space, and then the next one over is the opposite: space, line, space. Line. Uh, okay. Match parameters. Several parameters make up the characteristics of each match. Ratio. For people, pieces that fall on each turn, the ratio is the number of pieces containing a needle as opposed to pieces which are both Kobe's. Ratio of one is a needle in either turn, where a ratio of four is a needle piece every four turns. Speed. Rate at which new pieces fall. Stack. The amount of Kobe's which are present in the game board when the match starts. The random seed used to generate the stack environment. And more things about the game. I started work on Kobe Kobe shortly after Pitcat, quite a while ago. It is based on a similar drawing technique to Pitcat, just more of it. Instead of eight rows, Kobe has 12. There are also two characters sidebar on the far right to show score. The game is written in assembly and uses E7 bank switching scheme, 16K ROM plus 2K RAM. Uh, the idea for the game is inspired by the Japanese game Puyo Puyo. In that game, there's a similar method of dropping pieces, and the aim is to assemble four of the same color of the pattern. Then they are clear. I wanted to extend this by allowing long chains and then be able to trigger them by clearing them somehow. The use of chain reactions is inspired from another Japanese game, Dr. Mario. 
The virus theme came from the COVID-19 pandemic, and I wanted to, the game to be of the time. The music is, of the game is made in TIA Tracker, as we saw on the top of the screen. Uh, this is my first time at composing original music for a game. It's very good. Yeah, I like it it's, a it's lot. It's very appropriate. Can you use white do, 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 on do, do, anything? Do, 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 do. Or white is only on the white White's guys. on anything. Anything. Yeah. So if you wanted to get those greens, white will take care of it. Make sure it's pointing down at them. Nom, 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 nom. Um, it is interesting to try to make the most of the two channels of the Atari. A lot of different sounds can be made with the TIA. TIA Tracker is great and makes it all possible. I started this project back in 2020 and I've been working on it now and then. After Lord of Biscay's demo was released on November, uh, in November, I decided to finish writing this game. The two-player mode is a recent addition. Before, I didn't know it was even possible. Jam Tech's Die Fed Hitchings is a fan of Puyo Puyo and suggests that we made an Atari version, Atari 2600 version of the game. With some new rules and the ideas, Kobe is the result. Thanks to Alan the Fur for help in setting up the plus ROM support for the game. Thanks to Armscar Coder for playtesting and advice of the game. Thanks also to Jam Techs for the game scoring system, design, graphics, and testing. Thanks to James and Tanya for playing the game on your show. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You have to die. Hey! Oh, I can control it. <gasps> You're interfering. Oh, I can't. I can't go left and right up and down, though. No. I can only rotate it. So. Little hint out there, if they're playing one player, you can mess with them by rotating it the wrong way. Just wrong. Making a pandemic cute while in the middle of it is quite impressive. Yeah. <laughs> RC70 that says. That is quite, that is quite a feat. Try and do one from the side. Go to the left. Oh. And then press to the right when it's at the appropriate. The right. There you go. And the green guy goes over too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, you're done. <laughs> you're doing Get too, off! You're doing too well. <laughs> okay, so let's go back one. It is pretty fun. Okay, go to two player. All right. Oh, we're playing two player. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to music B. Nope. 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 Mode. Uh, uh, mode. Let's see. Mode B ends at a certain time. We'll do mode A. And okay. we'll start the match with different B. stacks. We'll do a bit of a stack. So five is good. Speed, stack, seed. That's Let's go down and make the speed one. one. Stat, that's good. Ratio one, stack three. Let's do that. Okay. So I believe this is you. Me. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Okay, it moves over to me. Oh, interesting. So you alternate. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, good combos. I love the sliding animation. So you don't get to see your screen until it's your turn. I wonder if the next is for me or if the next is for you. I'm guessing it's for me, so I can kind of prepare. No, it didn't let me go Oh, it's aside. not. Oh, no, it is for me. Yeah. And then it shows your next. Uh, let's do this. Try and get that to the side. Uh, that's what I can't quite figure out. Have to wait. No, no. Nope, I did it too early. Oh, I made I debris. My... <laughs> oh god, looks like a rock. Atari is here to help. Hi. Is he helping? Good kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. Good kitty. Yes, you are. I'll do that one. Oh, didn't get rid I don't of the syringe. Know what that is. What? Is it a used syringe? Uh, it's. That's what it looks like. It's a like. used syringe going into nothing. You have to put a syringe directly on it. Mm. Now, this should make a combo with that other one. Yes. Debris! Oh, oh, debris cleared out. Uh, maybe oh, when it gets to the bottom. bottom. I think that's what it said. That makes sense. Neat. So, did you ever play Dr. Mario? Atari is here to help. Me? Yes. A tiny bit. I've played it more recently than I have in the past. 
Right. To be to be completely honest. Okay. What? You can't do that. How do you set it up then? If it automatically dispenses. Oh, you press to the left or right, I guess, so that it doesn't. No, you can't go to the left. There. Oh, you did. You have to oh. press to the left. No, I did. Multiple times. It, it worked. It just took a, a second to register. My command. So if I do that, I have to wait till it's down there. Yeah. Oh, oh. I pressed! I pressed! <laughs> now when do you press? After it? Im immediately yeah. after? Uh, I was hitting it multiple times. Mm, I'll have Neat. to practice that. I don't think it specifies exactly when you press when it detaches. Oh, you got a big uh, pink chain. You can... If you hold up, you can position the needle upwards. Oh, it's the upwards. Oh, oh it fell. A yellow one fell. Oh, you made. Oh, you made. Yeah, because I got so many. I got so many a time. Nice. So that's the combo when you press it upward. upward? That's what you need to do. It. So it doesn't plunge and activate. Mm -hmm. You have to press it up. And the needle will point up. The whole thing over, over. Yeah. You could have just left it, I think. I don't know. That's that that didn't clear it. it created debris, but it fell off the bottom. So. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try and take out this. You hold up, you can position the needle upwards. Hmm. Take out this other needle here. You can't. It just creates debris. I guess you do take it. No. Oh, it yeah, creates debris yes. and then it falls off. I think. That was a nuisance, Kobe. Every four length chain, it throws a Kobe to the opponent's board. That's what nuisance, that, Kobe. That's what that, that <laughs> drop was. Nuisance, Kobe's. Nuisance, aren't they all nuisances? They're, they are nuisances. There we go. Cleared that out a bit. Tetris, Kobe's. This is, it's, it's a mix of a bunch of games. Now it is this. It's very nice. It only gets Take the white. Take both of them? I think it only gets the white. There, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Just the white. <clears throat> oh, it's so furry. Tetris Kobe's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I really like it. No. Oh, I, see I thought uh, I thought the needles got the white ones, but I guess the white ones are incidental. Yeah, it's hard to get long chains on this match. The challenge here is to deal with too many needles. Yeah, there are a lot of needles. Oh, yeah, our ratio is one to one on this game. That see, means you get a needle. You put it upwards, and then. Then you I wait can, for a yellow. I guess so. That's where I want it, though. There, let's do this. Nope. nope. There. Yeah, that's an interesting let's try tactic. That as well. Yeah. So it'll get rid of it. Oh, you've got a white one. It'll get... I don't know if I can get rid of the debris. No, you can't. You have to wait for it to get to the bottom, which can create quite. Oh, if you press down. No, I'm pressing it. The white, it would the white only the, gets rid of the white. Nope, gets rid of everything. No. Anything. Does it? Yeah, anything. I thought it screwed up last time. No. Are you sure? No! Oh, did you press something? I didn't touch anything. Ah. This is why I hate It's the Kobe's. It's the Kobe's in the uh, I do not like D-pads. That's why I want all arcade joysticks for all my consoles. <laughs> Including now the Intellivision. Yes! I think, I think your Genesis controller is... Um, Haunted? Is... is uh, <laughs> 
contaminated with Cody's. Oh, it is. 100%. Perhaps try, try match, match B, B or C. C. We'll try that next. This is, is taking a while. It is. Let's go to a different one. Very nice. Two player. It's probably a delay in the button because there's a title screen and it, he didn't want you to double press the button through the one or two player. So we'll go to music C. So we can hear music C. And launch B. That'll give us more Kobe's and less needles. They're so cute. Super cute. Super cute. Look at the guy, he's jumping up and down. <laughs> he's so happy. So cute. I think that's nice. gonna throw one my way. Yep. Oh! Ah. A nuisance, Kobe. Yeah, you like those? You know, <laughs> on yourself? Here you go. What? Oh no, what happened? I wasn't looking properly. I messed up. Oh, I just needled one. Something happened. Uh, let's put that guy at the bottom. Yeah, we got lots of pink there. Ding, 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 ding. Really great music, Marco. Didn't uh, plunge. I thought it would. Let's try it on mine. Uh, I guess it does not. So what's happening there, Marco? <laughs> There's a needle. Pointing it upwards. looks it's pointing upwards, but well, it doesn't it do doesn't, anything. Uh, plunge if it's pointing upwards. Uh oh. This is oh You can't, can't steer it. it. I tried. You can't steer that. <laughs> uh, let's put nuisance over there. Actually, I love it's just how a that, white Kobe. That Kobe is just angry. He's like, super angry. Super angry Kobe. I like the ones that jump up and down too. The ones <laughs> yes, at the bottom the sometimes. The they're stupid. They're very cute. Get rid of that needle. Uh, apparently, you can't. <laughs> you have to turn it into debris, I guess. Clear it off the bottom. It's closed. If you eliminate the yellow Kobe's, the green needle will cause a chain reaction above. Okay. I see. Plunger's out. Plunger's in. Then it has a pointy, sticky. Mm. Uh, let's do. <laughs> Before it was like, very, oh, we're, we're doing so. the same, yeah, same thing, which is expected. If there's some... I like this back and forth though, because obviously you can't put both on the screen, so you just turn, 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 and it's turn. It's very smooth. Yeah. It's not like, boom, you're on the other person. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. my patterns are disrupted. Oh, thank you. Not too far off. Yeah. You. Oh, a blue one. In a good spot. He's all fluffy. Mm. He's got hair. Like a sprite. Oh. A fluffy sprite. Let's mm. put. So it has both of our scores vertically, like mine is 40 and yours is 46. I if guess. I'm reading yeah. it correctly. I think you're right. It's a great feature. Doctor Mario esque 
music and it is game reminiscent game. of Dr. Mario. Yeah, not not exactly. Like no, clearly the not exactly the same. Completely different. Well, I wouldn't say completely different, but it's well, it's 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 inspired by, let's say, Dr. Mario a little bit. There's things dropping. Yeah. I mean, that's and, not, and you've got the little Tetris. you've got the viruses, except now the viruses are dropping, True. not not the uh, um, the viruses are dropping, not the, not, pills. The, not the pills to eliminate the viruses. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you gave me one. Once in a while, there is a uh, screen jump that just loses frame. Not sure ah. what causes it. It's fairly random. Music is catchy without being tiring to listen to. Yeah. Because it's not so, I don't know, in your face. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Very, like right now it's just like a little beat. And there's little variations. Very, very nice music. It's hard to make music that you can have for like half an hour. Well, yeah. You don't want to get tired music. of it, right? Yeah. yeah. says, I'm amazed at being able to store one game board, much, much less two, five different colors of Kobe, five different colors of needles, four directions of needles, and only 128 bytes. Well, um, it is a bank switching scheme that has 2k of RAM, so he does uh, have a bit more than 128k. Or 128 bytes. You would need more than 128. Oh, you're gonna go for the side. And you don't have to actively plant it. No, it does it itself. Mm -hmm. As long as the needle point is out. Ah! Four. Oh, it got rid of a bunch of them. A bunch yeah. of them. Not all of them, but a bunch the of them. The ones that were on the down slope. Yeah. Uh, let's put you here. How much extra RAM are you using? Out of the 2K? Good question. Probably a lot of it. This is a lot of data. And it's. Uh, I'm guessing it's quite compressible. But it doesn't need to compress it. I mean, it's not so much. You have to think the whole board could be filled up. Plus it has to store both boards could be filled up. Plus it needs to store the next. Plus the score. And each place. Oh, it's cutting out a bit more now. Each position. Nice. Surf the screen rolls hard chaps to isolate at times. Yeah, because it's only once in a while. Like, pretty seldom. Uh, do I want to bury those greens? Not really. As long as one is exposed, you're okay. Yeah, as long as you have access to one, one of the colors. Of the, of the anywhere. Which is, an, which is an interesting way to think of it. It's like, That's how well, I think of it. You can stack them. <laughs> Yeah, you can stack them, but you just need one to be exposed so if the, the needle comes down, yep. you have somewhere to put it. So can you do I'm not sure it's you too can. Far apart. Yeah. Hi, Black King. Ah, oh, he's so gave soft. Me the softest of the silky girls. If I press to up, the left. probably want to go to the left. I so get the one above. No, because no. it's not part of the chain. But the green goes together, so. Yeah, we did see that cutout. Um, 
No, the cut, the, when it blacked out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we see it. I forgot to put up the sign. 26 oh, day. no! Out of practice. Out of practice. Is there ever a piece with two needles? I haven't seen one yet, but no, it's possible. No, I'm guessing... No, because it only gives one needle every X turn. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it can give more than one needle. They'll be coming your way. Uh, yep. It, it it just seems to happen when um the nuisance Kobe comes down at Black. Happens out. more. For a second. For yeah. a second. Yeah. But it does happen with an yeah. Oh it got oh. I think it only happened with a nuisance Kobe then. Uh, I, that I've I, seen. I was playing it before and it does uh, happen with it. Uh it so much. Uh, RC70 says, I missed a bunch. Just realized it's two-player alternating. That's amazing. Yep. Um, and I'm playing with the Genesis controller, mm -hmm. which can rotate the piece left or right. But I usually just press one button. Mm -hmm. That's what I usually do in most of those games, like Tetris. I don't bother rotating it the other way. I just go, okay, let's rotate. I'm sure at very high speeds... Oh, here we go. One... Just one, good. Uh, let's get rid of these pink guys. Oh, let's go build a green. Can't do much about that. Oh, got rid of one of the white yep, ones. White good. We should get a nuisance. Nope, not quite enough. Got a lot of separate mm. yellow stacks. Oh, nice. A lot of yellow and green. Yeah. A lot of yellow and green going on. I think it's Jeez. on ratio of three or four this game. So every four Kobe's we get a needle. Mm -hmm. Bunch of Kobe's, I guess. Uh, I need to drop that yellow. Get rid of that yellow so that you do too. So that needle goes down. Press down and then press the left. Yeah, it's, but it's some risky. reason it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. So I get a blue needle next. Pink as well. I do have a blue. I don't have any pinks. So I'll just have to go back. There you go. Pink by yourself. And then I covered up the yellows again. Ugh. I really want to get rid of that green needle. Neither of us have gotten rid of it. You have to get rid of the yellows. I've buried it so badly now. <laughs> Come on, I need a yellow needle or a green needle. Needle, needle, needle. <laughs> <laughs> My Kobe load is getting way too high. <laughs> so is mine. Oh, there you go. No, you're going to waste it. You're not going to get rid of that green needle, are you? No, that's nope. okay. But, good amount of them. Yep. I, mine is buried, so I can't. Nuisance Kobe's. <laughs> oh. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you're Huge oh now chain. I'm getting like 20 of them. <laughs> yep. Huge oh, chain. Oh, my. Yay. No. One, no, two, no. Three. Yes. Biggest chain ever. But they all fell to nice places. Yeah. Boom. They were kind. Kittens. Okay, let's not bury that right hand side as much as possible. Oop. Starting to get a little bad. Yeah, in this match the absence of needles is the challenge and also the opportunity to make longer chains. That's true, it's it's a balance. Yeah. Uh -oh. Just starting to dig myself out. Don't drop Kobe's in bad places. No. Let's see how this goes. No. Oh, you're gonna go to the side. Oh no! Oh, you Too have to early. do it first. You really nope. do. Well, you can do it first, or you can wait till it's at the right spot and then do it. Mm. And I did not do either of those things. 
A worse mess, but a mess nonetheless. Uh, a yellow and a pink one to get rid of. Music is fantastic. This is probably not the most exciting game to watch us play. The last glitch, not the audio syncing. Oh, let me click that. Okay, a white needle. Let's just take care of that yellow one there. And then I can get the pink, and I can finally get the green, and then I can get the yellow. Oh my god. I'm trying to set it up so that works out for me, but pink Good. I'll drop at least one on me. It's gonna knock it out again. Pink and yellow. Oh, green. Then I need a green, then I need a yellow. <laughs> Very flexible in mm -hmm. how you can set things up. There's mm -hmm. a lot of possibility. Can you put the needle through one of the walls to let the sunlight in and clear the screen? <laughs> Is that a thing, RC70? <laughs> Maybe. So let's talk about the arcade. Yay, arcade! In Melbourne. Arcadia. It was terrible. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh, okay. yep. Um, the um, yay, it's gonna drop finally in the green. So it drops and now it's armed. Oh, and now created one oh, because it well, stuck yeah. itself into it. Um, all the 80s games, which I like to gravitate to, mm -hmm. their screens were atrocious. They were either super dim, okay, or going like this, or both. Oh no! They were so bad. Um, the newer games were better. Uh, it was very dirty in there. Yeah, you had mentioned that. Uh, it was very dark to kind of disguise the dirtiness. <laughs> um, it was not well maintained. The bathroom was the worst bathroom I've ever been in. Oh no! There were so many flies. Just that's the grossest. That's like just all over the place. That's like a punk music venue bathroom. Yes. Yeah. It was. It was a fun time. Um, so I got five dollars in uh, tokens. Spent four of them on four games, which I did pretty good on. And um, I think I posted it. Which games I played. Mm. And then I left. So <laughs> I was that's a shame. Yeah. It's always a... I, I was hoping... I mean, it had an okay selection of games yeah. throughout the years. Um, like 80s, 90s. Good selection. Um, but there, it was just... Dirty and not well-maintained games. Which was very disappointing. Yeah, so it's a shame. I was hoping to pass some time there and play some games. Played um, Snow Brothers, which I did pretty well on. That's and good. I came back here and played my copy that I got recently for yeah. Switch with you. Um, I played also Donkey Kong, which I did probably the best I've ever done on Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. well, I did. Um, in the arcade. Um, there's a green syringe finally coming. Oh, you were getting that one too. Yep, you got first though. And I played. What else did I, play? I, I, I love Snow Brothers too. Yeah, they recently released one for um, oh. the um, 
Switch, it had 30 extra levels, which might have been released somewhere else on some other system, but we played through the whole thing. Nice. Actually, I've mostly played through it. Came I, in to rescue I me. came in when you were really hurting. Um. <laughs> because when you lose all your lives, it starts the level over. Yeah. But if there's two players... Well, no, but there's, there are some levels restart. where you really do need two players to get the firepower up to the point you kill the boss. So a couple of them I join back in to help you win them, even though I find the game a little bit repetitive. Like, I was finding it a little repetitive, so I let you play some of it, but then I would yeah. kind of jump in to help, help you out. Yeah. Well, this is not the Switch. No. <laughs> no. We're just talking about <laughs> Snow Brothers on the Switch. Yeah. We are playing... Uh, Kovi Kovi on it. 26 did you clear out your needle? Oh, you did. Okay. So we'll probably stop soon. Yeah, because we could just play this forever. <laughs> it's a fun game. Super fun. Great two-player game. And Marco. It's Marco's game. Marco, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, excellent job on Very, it. very, very good. So, what are the plans for this, Marco? Uh, are you planning on releasing a version? Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Charles Whelan. Uh, a version that a demo that people can play soon, or are you going to reach a milestone first before that happens? Uh, probably in a week or so, Marco says. Very nice. Okay. Look for this in the Atari forums in a week. Mm -hmm. So let's actually take a look at an extreme. Um, Got some nasty roll bugs to fix. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. They didn't They didn't interfere with the gameplay, which is good. So, yeah. yeah. Just left you with less time. Mm -hmm. So if you go ratio, can go up to... Nine, which mm -hmm. means you get one needle every nine turns. Oh, that's what the ratio is. Okay. Well, let's keep the yeah, speed challenging. Five. Keep it high. Let's see how high the stack oh, goes. Oh, jeez, you're gonna make it super hard, eh? Maybe I'll keep the speed down so I won't die immediately. Oh, the seeds are going crazy. Seeds just random. Random. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh god. Oh. oh my god. I'm going to die very quick. This is too hard. Oh, it did some, some reactions. Uh, 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 no. Ah. You get one every nine. Ah, down, down, down. Dude. Ah, oh, no. No. <laughs> and that dead. didn't last very long. <laughs> uh, let's just put that down to like six. That's beautiful. Are and you And make it a ratio to five. Yeah? Are you hungry now? Do you have the munchies? <laughs> Catnip munchies. Catnip munchies. Yeah. Can you hear him? Can you hear him oh. meow? Good combo at the beginning, man. Come here. If you're gonna meow. You're gonna have to meow into the microphone. I don't think he'll meow while you have him. No, he's purring though. Hi, hi, hi. 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 You mad at me? <laughs> you mad? You're mad. Don't pick me up, mom. <laughs> embarrassing you're covered in catnip you bad cat so you can set this to really high level if you are an expert like, like right up to the top right super speed super hard right and no beginning. needles nice. <laughs> actually you may be able to set it so you actually cannot win if you set the ratio to nine you won't get a needle for nine turns i know that's what you set it to and it'll fill the top yeah. and you're <laughs> yeah. dead like literally you oh, can't play so a hard. certain level so hard uh, RC70 says, I went to a barcade in Texas back in December. It was really nice. Two floors. Everything was pretty well maintained. All day pass was $11. Whoa. That is a cheap all day pass. I mean, it is a barcade, so they're probably expecting you to drink while yeah. you're there. But that's it. Um, that is a good. Deal. That is a good price. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so the next game we're going to play, the second game, um, is Food Ninja. And it is actually a world premiere. Woo! RC70 said... Oh, I'm deaf getting the, getting this. The pace is great. I think my kid is going to love it, too. Oh, yeah. Because uh, you for, can set it down yeah. right to simple. Like slow. Oh, on Kobe Kobe. Yes, Kobe, yes. Kobe, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so this is Food Ninja exclusive world premiere by Ricardo Pym. Um, this builds from March 10th. It's a 16K game. Ricardo Pym has also made Asteroids Attack, Battle Zoom of Food Ninja, Hero 2 Hack, Space Pac-Man, Spiders and Flies. Mm. Um, so let's load it up. Ricardo Pym still here. Oh, great. Here we go. Am I loading it up? Okay. Yep. Black Kitten. Black Kitten. Okay. Nice to share. And it is cut the food, don't cut the bombs. That's all you need to know to get started with Food Ninja. Oh. Is there a title screen? Is there a title screen? No. Nope. I didn't switch it over. Oh, okay. oh cool. Oh, is that a bomb? Yum. Time is off, but I'll reset it anyway. I love this. I love the way this looks. What do the bombs look like? Uh, that's all you need to know to get started with Food Ninja action. Challenge yourself and see how long you can go. Unsheath your sword and get ready for an addictive, action-packed gaming experience. The proposal is very simple. Just make cutting movements with the joystick as if you were wielding a sword. During the game, different types of foods, fruits, and snacks will be uh, thrown on the screen, such as hamburgers, pizzas, fries, chicken, banana, apples, oranges, and whatever your imag imagination shows up. Uh, the game is in the testing phase, and I'm basically looking for bugs. Trying to calibrate the difficulty and analyze the possibility of implementing any suggestions that people want. You'll know when you've reached a maximum difficulty when you see a giant bomb on the screen. Oh, I see. So you can move, but also slash. Well, you move and slash in your first movement. I love it. I love it. Actually, I think it's fantastic. It, it, with the it, action. And with the... the action of the slash, I think that looks so good. Fries. Ah. Oh, two at once now. That's the life. Yeah. Popsicle. Orange and uh, oh, some grapes. Ah, apple. Can't move fast enough. I don't know what that is. Mango. Uh, bowl. Something. <laughs> he yeah. thinks you're talking to him. Ah! Didn't get there. Oh, oh the city blew and up. And the city explodes. Oh, there you go. High score, 21. Nice. So keeps the high score as well. Okay. Okay, what are we seeing on the screen? There's That's the a bomb. bomb. There the bomb is in black. Yeah, very distinct. Crop controls are very cool. Grapes? Feels like you're I'm going to say grapes. Uh, mango, maybe? Mango, maybe orange? Sort of uh, that looks like ramen. Bowl of noodles. A bowl ramen. of noodles. Oh, hamburger. Yeah. Blueberry. Very large blueberry. Yeah. French fries. Apple. Oh, More grapes. Mango. Mango. There's diagonals. Oh, you still have the Covey cart. Oh, no. Um, I'll switch that. Ice cream. Green apple. Ah, no. That looks like a biscuit to me. I'll switch the graphic. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. It's not a video game without explosions, right? Yes, the city Correct. has to explode. Yes, because obviously if you're not killing all the fruit, they are going to explode on the city. <laughs> That's right. That fruit, is, that fruit is a menace. Yeah. And the fruit. So this is obviously a play on uh, Fruit Ninja, right? I like it a lot. I, I love the slashing. The slashing effects are fantastic. Great sound, great effect. It's, it's a very satisfying yeah, it movement. Is. Ah! Ah! Oh no! It's nice there's a pause when you lose one. Oh, don't get that. Whew, that bomb. No, no. Oh, you almost got it. I know. It's actually good that there's bombs, because then you don't have to... Oh, no! That was completely accidental. Was that instant death? I think it was. Or were you down to one to life? got to 23. I don't recall. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah. That looks like a ham. 
I like to try and figure out what everything is. Ooh, is that cheese? Oh, a slice of pizza? Mm. Oh, it might have been cheese. cheese. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. that works. Yeah. Oh, the black kitten is nestled in your lap. Oh. He likes fruit ninja too. He does. Food ninja. Food ninja. The sorry. original is. Food yes, ninja. yes, sorry. Food ninja. Are the strategy? Mm -hmm. like, is it better to stay at the bottom? I, th I think you want to be in the center. It's like tennis. Yeah, a little bit. Because up. if you're too far to the left or right, you're not going to you're not going to get Definitely to it the fast is enough. Best. Yeah. But I'm trying to think like height wise. I think like kind of low, but not too low. I like that the length of the pause varies. It adds to the tension. Agreed. You're like waiting. Yeah, you're like. Oh, What's going to come out? When's it coming? Where's it coming yeah. from? Not that one. It would have been bad if there was a bomb. So you don't go very high, so you have to be yeah. really careful. I think I'm staying here. The slashing effect is very satisfying. Very no, no! Biscuit. I think that's a biscuit. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, the cheese pizza! Oh my god. There's coming out so fast now. Oh no! The that blueberry was, did it. That was getting out of control. Wow. 36. That doesn't take. <laughs> cherries. I haven't seen any cherries yet. So I don't know where the end is, but I don't think I was there. It's like you see a giant bomb. done with the ball uh it could be oh my gosh come on i mean I, oh i bet it is it's definitely not a player character because you don't want flicker because there's two fruit at any one time two food it's not all fruit so and the two foods are different colors so that makes sense that it would be the ball no! And you can definitely make the ball with that wide, so yeah, it makes sense. Player zero! Really? Interesting. Bottoms got that by accident. Yeah. Came right for me. I, oh, there is minor flicker, so but it doesn't even matter because they're at the same height so seldom that you don't even notice it. It's like I didn't even notice it. Kicking ass. Nope. 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 Don't say nope. that. Don't say that too soon. Ah, my Ritz cracker! Oh. No! No! I Don't say you. it too soon! High score is what? <laughs> 36. Oh no! I almost had it. Almost. Almost. I messed you up, right? No, no. no. I did. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. At that on. level, it's crazy. But it's nice. It ramps up pretty fast. Yeah. At around you're 30? Not, you're not, you're not up to bad. 100 before it gets too hard. Yeah. 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 You, want it, you want a decent a increase. Re, a decent increase, yes. You don't want it so slow you're like, oh, I have to play for an hour to get to a level where it gets hard. You know, RC70, I can't think of the last time I ate a Ritz cracker. No, it's but been a I long assume they're time. still around. They're quite yummy. I really like Ritz crackers. They feel good. like an '80s '90s thing for some very, reason. Very like buttery. Yes. Um, well, no, they have a them buttery. Be... They have a buttery flavor. Well, yeah, but not like a strong flavor. You expect them to be cheese because they're yellow or orange, right? But they're no, not. but they're not. They have a. They're more. Of a no. Butter. Too early. Cracker. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm assuming they're still around. I just haven't, I haven't bought a box of Ritz crackers. I feel like a hundred years old. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, insta death at thirty-six. Oh, it is insta death. Yeah. No, thirty-one. Thirty-six. Oh, you, get, you, get you do more. another round. Yeah. yeah. So I got, I died one too early. Yeah. Lost a life way too early. Um, I'm more of a Trisket person, personally. I like Triscuits. If they're flavored, but the Triscuits. That, there has to be have something you, ever, you put on the Triscuit. Not necessarily. Planned. Have you ever heated up Triscuit in the microwave? No. Like, just warm them? They're so good. 
Really? Yeah, it's almost like the oil in them comes out or something. Never they get kind of oily and salty that. and they're kind of warm. Did you learn that by putting like, cheese on it first? You can put cheese on it. Them. They taste fantastic with cheese. But even just heating them up by themselves, mm. they actually taste really good. We used to do that all the time when I was kids. When I was a kid, me and my sister. Mm. Also, we put cheese on it. No! So good. 17! The pepper triscuits are amazing. Pepper. And they have like, they have like a... They have a pepper one. I think they have, is it garlic or they have a couple? Oh, they have a sun-dried tomato one wow. too. That's really, really, really? good. This, the triangle ones they have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do like a good, I like a good triscuit. I haven't bought those in a while either. They're the kind of, kinds of things you buy when people come over. <laughs> That's right. And or then germs. they get stale. Uh, yeah. Because you forget about them. That's true. I just find them really boring. They're boring on their own. They're a good microwave, though. <laughs> Next time we have them, put them in the microwave. Unless we have them right now? No, I don't think so. Marketing people have decided to put the Ritz name on all their other crackers, too. Oh, so it's like a brand now? More than just a cracker? Mmm. It's brand new. And you have to a high one, and a low gun comes out. <laughs> uh, very cool. Very cool game. Um, very satisfying movement and sound in it. Um, you don't really move faster when you're slashing. You move the same speed, but it feels like you move faster when you're slashing. Uh, very challenging. Very. A very good ramp up. It starts that anyone can play it. Yes. And then it, it gets harder. It like goes up like that. Um, but let me make it to the big bomb. I don't know what level, no. what uh, score you have to get. Uh, probably he didn't pretty say. High. Probably, probably pretty high. Probably maybe 50, maybe 100. To get a big bomb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, great job, uh, Ricardo Pim. What is awesome. the score where you see the big bomb? Hmm? And what's your high score? Yeah. Oh, no, um, no, and no, when is this coming out? Yeah. Uh, are you going to be releasing a demo version of this? Um, or releasing it on cartridge at some mm. point? I feel I need to do it earlier. Uh, I mean, I Wait. will get better with practice. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it it's, gets it's, really hard at 30. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think, yeah. It's We've doable. only just played it a little bit, so, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the deaths were the bomb. I, yeah, I think, you get distracted or it kind of runs into oh, you. Mushroom. I don't know if... Yeah. My complete... high is 256. Oh, mm. my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if instant death with hitting a bomb is a good idea. No, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, because you could accidentally... Oh, what was that? It was like a big, uh, scary um, pumpkin. Oh something. my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Might be a kind of pumpkin. Oh, candy. Oh, so many stuff. So many yeah, things. a root beer. There's a oh, lot we wow. haven't seen. Wow. Oh, uh, really cool. Okay. Let's go on to the next game. Stellar Drive. Okay. Let me switch over the cartridge. Mm. Tanya can load it up. So Stellar Drive is made by uh, Mirsad Sarajlik, uh, known as Kiki PDPH on the Atari Age forums. Okay. Also made the game Ved uh, Vegsil Sarajlik. Difficult names. Yeah. First posted March 9th. This builds from March 10th. Uh, 32K game. Mm -hmm. This is the only game that I know of them making. I don't, I haven't seen any other game. Mm -hmm. um, and instructions getting started. To start playing Stella Drive, insert the cartridge into your Atari 20. Uh, use your joystick to move the space vehicle on the tracks. Press the joystick to jump. Press the joystick button to jump. Mm. Uh, Stellar Drive is an exciting space vehicle driving game for the Atari 2600. Space your spacecraft drives nice. through space on two parallel tracks. Mm -hmm. Your vehicle must jump over stellar speed bumps while avoiding stellar guardian walls okay. um, and moving wall robots that appear on the tracks. 
If you hit an obstacle or drive off the edge of the track, your vehicle will crash and the game will end. Okay. To score points, you must drive your vehicle as far as possible without crashing. Mm. Um, scoring your score in Stellar Drive is based on how far you're able to drive your vehicle okay. without crashing. The longer you drive, the higher your score. The game will end when you crash into an obstacle or drive off the track. Uh, game difficulty, as you play Stellar Drive, the speed of your space vehicle will increase, hmm. making the game more challenging. To advance to higher levels of difficulty, you must drive your vehicle as far as you possible without crashing. Okay, so that's you at the bottom. Don't drive off the cra uh, track. And jump over... No, no, two two jump over the things. Now, those are the things you can jump over. The red ones, you have to go onto the other track. Oh, oh I jump to the other track? Yeah. Um, and there's ones that are red and moving. Now you have to avoid or jump away from them. Nope. Avoid missing road for high score. <laughs> yep, just a uh, variation on the Pong instructions. You can move up and down, left and right yeah. to an extent, right? Get pretty close. Before you jump. Yeah. Space vehicle can only jump so far. And I saw this game and I'm like, oh my god, this is simple but great. Challenging. Simple but challenging, easy to understand, but there's a lot going on, right? There's things you can jump over, there's things you have to completely go onto the next track. Oh, oh wow. come on! Three, four, three, four. <laughs> I'm, that's Pretty a higher good. score than I was thinking I'd Yep. Do. Reminds me of the PC game Skyroads. Sky mm. ah. Avoid missing road for high school. So this is as high up as you can go on the screen. It's not oh. much of a not the full yeah. The distance. And you want to stay very close to the edge. Close to the edge. Well, because you have to move to the edge before you can jump. Yeah. So you don't want to delay that. You don't. Want to off the side. It's very easy oh to God. do. Very easy to do. Especially when you're hugging. The side of the road. Yeah, the car has to be completely on the track when you land. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Kind of a bump and jump. There's lots of games that have. I love the shading of, of, of the speed bumps you have to jump over. Oh god. Um, very good background too. Some yes. simple stars yeah. in the sky. The scrolling. I do the like this one here. life kind of a game. It's like, and that's your score. <laughs> There's no it's real life. Here. You only have one. That's very true. Once you crash your car, you're that's it. That's yep. it. You're never getting insurance again. I think the pattern is exactly the same every time. Especially sky insurance. <laughs> sky insurance is expensive. Yeah. Kitten, watch that cat. What's he doing? No, you can't have treats <laughs> yet. No one has given you per you permission to eat treats. <laughs> Yeah. You must obtain permission. That's oh, correct. now it's faster. Oh, oh now you're That's really going up. fast. Oop. It seems like it's not integer speed. Oh, what was that? RC70s oh, being super Five, nice. Six, two, nine. Super yum, nice. Yum yum. And yum, yum, yum. Giving in to the cat demands, I see. Those whiny, whiny cats. They're so whiny. Okay, okay. I, I need to Keep get score. some in my hand first. Thank you, RC70. Uh, do you earn more points if you're further up the screen? Uh, no, they're just... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, no, they, it just counts up. Constant count up. And I don't think you get any more <laughs> for jumping either. You have to look at the bell. Now he's trying to hit the controller. Oh, poor. He's hitting the Bobby's. Genesis controller. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's trying oh, to play. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> Giving into cat demands is a normal part of my life, says RC70. One point? One. Atari! 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 Ring the bell! He's still trying to hit the Genesis controller. I think that is so cute. Okay, I'm closing that door so you don't run away, Atari. Someone hit a bell! Not the controller, sweetheart! <laughs> Not the controller. I pressed it! Yeah, good kitty! 2-0! Good kitty! 2-1! Oh. 3-1! One. 4-1! One. That cat wants some treats! 
five one. So hankering for some treats. Oh, they're so confused with the chords there. Six one. Fast now. Okay, here. Go there. Go there. Good. Six two. Seven two. My goodness, Sprite. Ah, seventy three oh nine. Best of <laughs> best too. so far. Sorry, come on. You're hunkies. I know you are. Eight, three. Okay, I'm throwing this across the room. See this? So Nine, mean. three. Nine, four. Oh my god. Ten, four for Sprite again, that little treat monster. Oh. Good job, good job, kitties. Alright, thank you. RC70, Ricardo Pin says, Hi guys, my connection was down at the end of the Gigi gameplay. So oh. I don't know if I missed some questions. Oh, what is the plans for release of the game? Is there going to be a binary? Mm. Is it going to be released on cartridge? Uh, is there a demo coming out? Mm. In the last difficulty gameplay, you have four or more foods at the same time. Four? Oh my god. And giant foods when you have to cut many times to kill them. Oh my god. So you can get even closer. Wow. I think yeah. I will prepare an easier ROM. I didn't find that too hard. I think we just need to practice a bit to, to yeah. get better at it. But I think so. Uh, Especially if you good. can get 256. Yeah. Which sounds like a very suspicious number for mm -hmm. the ending. Oh, what happened to that <laughs> tradition? Thank you for keeping the score, RC70. Uh, 7309 is yours to beat. 7309? Oh my yeah. goodness. Uh, uh, Gamma Dev, uh, first time chatter, says maybe you should do some extra bell training sessions with Atari. It just depends <laughs> on how he feels. Sometimes yeah. he's really into the treats. And hungry. And today he's like, meh, let, well, the, let the black cat ring the bell. You, you already know? got a round as well. They yes. slow down after one. This is round two. Not this guy. He doesn't no, slow this down. guy is still trying to find more. Okay. 257 and the fruit slices you. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have to run away from the fruit. Oh, he's locked in. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sometimes I just jumped way too. Um, Physical way copies too waiting for the final art. Okay, cool. So it will be released. Oh, Physical copies. Um. But will there be a demo version of it, or is it going straight to cartridge? I'm Close just enough. not. I just jump way too soon for both of them. It's it's a narrow narrow margin. I think I'm going to jump further than I am. I think that's the problem. Oh, okay. Just a bit wider than the middle. The amount of time you're in here. That's where I die on the double um, gray. Mm. I should pull back. On the oh, I almost made it to those guys. Ugh. That's where I got last time. Two tens. Two tens. <laughs> Not sure, probably a demo, same time as physical copies. Okay, very cool, Ricardo. Very, very good game. Um, good ramp up. Very satisfying sounds. Oh, yeah. Double jump it, you can't. You can't it's double hard. jump it. Uh, yeah, you can. Can you? Yeah, yeah. If you time it right? Yep. Yeah. If you're ahead and then pull back. It's hard. Especially when it's fast. That score kept killing me. Jump too soon. Yeah. I'm like over anticipating it. Let you out in a second. Door shut. I did it just because he was, um. Yeah, he's, he's better when it's shut. Doesn't take a Back. 
so I was in uh, Melbourne, Australia with my film partner, Giovanna, who's been on the show, who was at the Atari Awards as well. Um, going to AIDC, Australian International Documentary Conference. It's not a film festival. They do show films there, incidentally. Uh, and it's all about documentaries. Mm -hmm. And Giovanna and I went there to pitch our uh, latest uh, film idea. Mm -hmm. And it went exceedingly well. That's good. Um, we went with a bunch of other Canadians as a group. Well, we hung out as a group. Didn't go all, go all together, but good job. Um, yeah, it was uh, four or five days long? Four days long. Um, it was in a very, very nice building in the middle of uh, Melbourne. Too soon. See? Good mm, job, That's though. what gets me every single time. Okay. Okay. That's the best you've done. Awesome. And we're on to the last game mm -hmm. of the night, which is... Bowling. It is Strike Zone Bowling by Edward Smith uh, and Kevin Mosley on graphics. And these are the same people who did Dark Keep, mm. which had amazing graphics. And you can Look see it this. again. Absolutely <gasps> wow. gorgeous. When I saw the screenshots for this game, I was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Ricardo Pim, go to sleep. Yes. I have to get up for work Good in five night. hours. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you for joining us. Um, so this uh, builds from March 5th, 2023. Mm -hmm. It was first uh, mentioned on May 13th mm -hmm. in relation to his last bowling game, Pro last Bowling, um, which was released. We have a copy up there. Pro Bowling last yeah, but year. Last Sorry. Year. Yeah, yeah, last year. May 13th last year. Yeah, I need to correct that. Sometimes I type 2022. Sometimes I type 2023. Mm -hmm. Um so uh, December 18th, he said, updated updated game is near in completion. Two-player game is implemented. Also, I've made it easier to pick up spares. No longer <gasps> nice. blah, blah, blah. Uh, original game was very bare bones. He's talking about pro bowling. Okay. I was kind of burned out at the time. The new game is intended to be a bowling alley experience. Nice. You see the bowling alley exterior. You check out the shoes. You bowl. And, at, at the, and then you end at the snack bar or the arcade. Oh, nice. Uh, enhancements over pro bowling. Now, this is a completely different game. This mm. is not like an upgrade to pro bowling, really. Um, graphics. A few intro title screens. Shoe checkout. Uh, two splash screens for strike. Splash screen for a spare. You know, those things that come up on the TV monitors? Yep. Like turkeys and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, improved graphics on gameplay screen. Improved accuracy on lane pin graphics, representing which balls are up or down. Text and graphic integrating, integrating, in Dictating <laughs> a strike, spare, and hot streak. Six different game over screens representing different parts of the bowling alley based on score. Gameplay one or two player options. We can mm. both play. Uh, it's a Start Genesis. with the one play first. We are going to plug in not a Genesis. Controller. Not a Genesis. Oh, I thought it was incredibly cute how Sprite was trying to smack the Genesis controller. <laughs> He's like, it's a thing on the floor. It's like smack, that. I can. Smack, I'll. I'll get treats if I smack the Genesis controller. If he. If he plays a game, he will definitely get treats. Oh yes. But uh, it would have to be a one button game, I think. So if you could load it up again, please. Now that I've put in. Wait, wait, wait! You're like flipping by a huge screen. I didn't even get to, I didn't get to see it. Oh my god, you click, 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 click. No, it, I, I thought that was sufficient. I, I thought you were paying attention. I barely even saw it. So there's the bowling alley, and you pull nice. up in your uh, 80s car. What car is that? I have no idea. What do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know cars very well. So I don't either. It's a red car. It's a red car. <laughs> uh, and you go into a bowling alley called Strike Zone. Nice. And we can hear the whole tune. It's now over. you can press the button. <laughs> Actually, oh, the tune the kept guy. going. So you've one player. It's Mario. Two player. One player. He's giving us their shoes. It's it's Mario and Luigi's shoes, <laughs> by the way. It is. Two dollar shoes, four dollar shoes. Those are pretty oh, cheap shoes. That's pretty cheap. Rental. That's like eighties, eighties. Thanks for the shoes, Mario. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, two player. Yes. So. We do need to know 
how to do it. Move left or right to position your bowler. He's got a shadow. Very nice looking. Push up or down on the joystick to start the approach. Uh, we don't do it yet. Uh, oh! <laughs> don't do anything yet. Okay. After the shot meter reaches maximum width and begins decreasing, oh. pushing the button will release the ball. Gotcha. All bowls are the same strength in terms of speed ball, the ball will roll. Okay. The timing of the button press controls the spin slash direction of the ball. Okay. Um, pressing the button before the meter is back to zero will result in a spin right. Pressing the button when the meter is back to zero will... Oh, what? Oh, never mind. Uh, severe spin right. Press button very early after it hits max width. So it goes out to the side. That's right. Right is right away. And then medium spin right is when it's... In the it's middle. In if the you middle. hit smack in the middle, there's no right spin. Is that Let's what it's saying? See. Slight spin right is gotcha. almost down. Nothing. Straight shot is nothing. So and then when, increasing is left. And then when it goes back out again, it, it's the left. Okay. Uh, nice. So yeah. Cool. To, oh, it's me. So you kind of want it off Strike. a little bit and going to the right. Yeah. So almost down. You move forward, yeah. Ooh, that's too much. Way too much. Oh, weird. Okay, let's go just off center and we'll go straight. <laughs> Mario can't live off magic mushrooms all the time. He's got to right. earn his money somehow. Oh, 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 that was oh, good. Oh, oh, to the left. Oh, oh. very oh, nice. Uh, not bad. All right. In general, a struck pin can ricochet into an adjacent pin that is at the same depth or deeper. To consistently pick up spares, it's important to know the following rules. Not bad. Lots of information about where to hit the pins to pick up spares. No, not Just get no. fancy. Get Interesting. Fancy. I'm try, gonna try for a straight on. Okay. Just, just off to the left. So that should hit the middle pin off to the right, and the rest. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I have to get used to how fast it goes down. Mm. Oh, oh, almost in the center. Yeah, much worse. Maybe I should wait. I should go off to the right. And oh, then wait till it gets to the center and it'll go to the left a bit. Whoa. Yeah! Oh. Woo -hoo. Wow, do you see the guy had shadowing on him? Yeah! Wow, that's good. Nice. Of course. <laughs> Come on. Oh, straight on. That was decent. <laughs> it is okay. Yeah. Oh my God! You got a oh, wow! Strike. Look at that. <laughs> graphics are <laughs> graphics are insane. Very nice. Very nice. Right oh, down, oh, oh. right down the middle. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Whoa. Whoa, nice graphics. Yeah. After uh, Dragon Keep, I uh, mm. expect nothing less than them. Yeah. Insane graphics now. Ooh, nice, nice. That might be. Oh, oh just not quite. Mm. Very nice. I love, I love everything. I love all the, I love the everything. backgrounds. Mm. I love the little strike screens. Oh, nice. Really, really nice. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. I'm trying to do exactly the same. Oh no. Very close. Oh no. Split shot. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> I have to be off a little bit more to do the. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Five seventy two points. Let's see. Let's try that again. 
again. No. It's the wrong direction. Kittens. No. Oh, Whoa. Not quite. Wow. <laughs> That's not what I intended, though. You got some pins down. I didn't think you were going to get did. any. Good, good, good. Oh. Ooh, close, but not quite. Kittens. Cat. Hush, hush, hush. Cat? Naughty. You are not starving. Too much, too much, too much. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I love that one. Yeah. The sunset. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's you only so get a good. tiny bit to, to look at it. Make sure to get it get more starts. Of course it does. Here we go. Do I get it? Yes. Yeah. A green shirt. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. Yeah, yeah and the shirt changes, that's right. Oh, I'm doing fancy oh, moves. No. Too fancy. Trying Too to fancy. no no oh well I was better I'm trying to play with it a little so yeah I'm just trying to go uh, for consistency <laughs> nice I had the tiger bowling game the whole family used to play it for hours at my grandma's house yeah okay I'm gonna have to uh, really hook this Oof. oh no okay gutter yay game over having the snacks so 121 versus 109 nice good let's do it again oh there's burgers and drinks and a piece of paper Get that cap. okay back. press the button we'll do one more it's pretty quick beautiful beautiful Oh, wait, there's difficulties. What? Um, so we're on novice. Okay. Do you want to apply, try uh, advanced? The shot meter moves faster on advanced. Mm, okay. I, I think we're fine. Okay. It moves fast enough. Um, not at all. Oh, you can skip the strike and cutscenes. Uh, spare and strike cutscenes. They're so quick. Why would you that. want to? They're so yeah. good. And they're so quick, too. So. Yes, Ooh, strike on the first strike. one. Da da da. <laughs> Pro bowlers on Fox. Animations are very good. Where's the no animation while walking left and right previously? Oh, because it just slides. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. That could be something. He, he does do an animation when he walks up. When they walk up to do the ball. That's true. It's just lining it up. And he doesn't remember where you positioned last time, which no. is probably a good thing. Yeah. Be too easy. Ah. Nope. Even straight down the line doesn't always work out. Nope. No, too much, too much, too much. Nope. <laughs> oh, right through the middle. <laughs> oh, right through the hole. This is definitely the best bowling game on the 2600. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, strike. Boom. Nice. Same thing. Oh no. I wonder if there's some randomization in terms of if it hits one or the other, or if it's like every time if you do it this way, it will do exactly the same. No. No. Nuts. It's... It seems like it, the perspective is a little off. Is a little off. Like if you go if here. If you're on the edges, it should go on an angle, right? If you go here and, and put it center. Yeah. It should it go goes, straight. It should go straight at an angle yeah. like that. But I don't think it does. I'm not going to waste a bowl. We'll do that after. We'll try it. After. I don't yeah. mind trying it. Because it seems to me that it should be straight yeah. into the perspective. I'm going to try that again. Nice. Oh, it's the same every time. I need to move over a bit more. 
It does move a bit, it but does. not as much as I would expect it to. Oh, not quite. Oh, no, yeah, I was trying to hit enough. it straight down, but that's okay. Mm. Oh, not what I wanted. But I mean, Boo! if you know what it's going to do, then it's okay. Yeah. Um, so I need to be a bit more over. Yeah. left oh, oh no Maybe I should just do it to the right Boo. nope didn't mean to do that more 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 oh 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 Ooh, I thought close. you were gonna get all of them no I'm gonna stick with this does make me want to go bowling. <laughs> haven't gone bowling in a long time. No, we haven't. When's bowling the last time we went fun. bowling? I feel like we didn't go that long ago. Or I went with people from my workplace. Oh, okay. Um, bowling is fun. Oh, yeah. What do you like better? Five or ten? Canada, we have five pin bowling. <laughs> yeah, I prefer ten pin. Yeah, with five the poles. Pin, five pin is like a kid's bowling game. I always think of it, it as like a game because the balls are lighter I mean, and kids can throw them. It's, it's But I like ten kids. pin. I think I think I prefer ten pin. Yeah. Although it does it does grate at your hands a bit after a while, like sticking your balls, fingers in the ball heavy. and that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, no, the, no oh, it's the wrong way. Wrong way. There you go. That's good. Oh, Ooh, not quite. Do you watch a lot of uh, pro bowlers on TV, <laughs> Dan ABC? <laughs> I don't think I've watched that oh, no. in quite a while, but it is quite enter enter entertaining. Yeah. I think watching any games or sports that you don't watch that often or always kind of once like in a curling. while, then you're like, what's going Every on? Every once in a while, I'll watch curling. It's not not a game I really like to watch a lot of, but uh, that's. Left is the green, right? Left is the green? Yes. Okay. Because it's yellow at first. That's pretty good. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. You hit the center, though. No, that is not good at all. Ooh. Oh, come on. See, I think it, I don't think it goes perspective straight. I think it goes straight, straight. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so. I think you do have to line oh, yourself gosh. with it. Oh. Yuck. Pretty good though. No, no, no. Good. Yeah, spare. Spare. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Like that guy. Oh, your turn. It must be the tenth frame. <gasps> oh. Get an extra ball. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Not quite. I want a strike. I want two more. Two more balls. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can get a spare. And you beat me for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, the bathroom. Ninety-six to eighty-six. We did better last last round. Yes, cute. we did. Cute. So there's the bathrooms, and Very it has cute. the initials of the yeah. developers, which are Edward Smith and Kevin Mosley. Nice. Very excellent, nice. excellent bowling game. Love the game. design of that hole. The this, fifth gu pumping guy is going to be the game's mascot. Yes, yes I agree, nostalgic. That should be <laughs> so on cute. the label and on the box. If yes, there's a box. On on the front of the t-shirt too. Mm. Oh, the t-shirt. Yes, the bowling <laughs> t-shirt. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of helpful hints on mm. how to do splits. Um, if you want to really get into it in the manual, this is available for download. Just like the last game we played, it's available for download in the Atari Age forums. Um, if you bowl three strikes in a row, you will enter the zone. Can you stay in the zone long enough to bowl a perfect game of 300? Mm. I don't know if it does anything special when you're in the zone, but that implies something happens. Oh, yeah, we were going to play. Mm. Um, I just wanted to see something. Let's do one player. Now, if I am on the left-hand side, and, you get and I bowl exactly straight, straight 
it should go straight and not hit the gutter. Yeah, but I don't think that's... No, that's no. not right. That's straight. Yeah. So, so it you do have to align it. Straight. But you know what? It's easier for gameplay to line yourself up with where you want it to go. Yeah. So I, I get that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it does not follow the follow the perspective of, of the lane. So. No. So it's just good to know that. It's good this. to know that. Yeah. Oh, thought that was right. Is not right. Uh, um, let's see. Let's go yeah, here. Yeah, I think so. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't when you're get a when you're chance. actually curving it, it does. It has to go straight for a while first. Yeah. yeah. So you, at worst, you want to line it up with like this. Yeah. Left hand one. I'm gonna try that again. Mm. Let's go right to the left, and then bowl it, and then right on the line. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. That went. So th if you're right on the line and you go to the <gasps> maximum, it'll go to the right pin. The nostalgic wants to know if there's a variation with gutter guards. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so good. That'll be the Nutella, the Nutella difficulty. They would have to do a bit of programming yeah. to do that. Maybe not. Yeah. It's like, okay, gutter guards, if it hits, it bounces back at the exact same angle that it hit. Mm -hmm. But it may not have enough space left to do that. That would be hilarious. If I do this. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a perfect spot that you can do it and do green. <laughs> Let's say green at maximum. Oops. Any any five pin bowlers in the chat? Has I, no one has even five mentioned pin? it. Or they're like, it's very what? much a Canadian thing. I don't know if it's played in like the UK or anywhere else, but uh, Ooh, that was close. I I know there are a few Canadians in the audience. But, yes. Um, when I was young, that's what I thought bowling was. Was five pin. We never played. Right. We never played it not until take, I got quite a bit older. Not going to take kids to go. No. Ten pin bowling. No. It's like ah, oh, this ball. Yeah. Oh, my my wrist. Yeah. Five pin, been ages. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I, like I think there pin. are some U.S. states, maybe Where near they the do Canadian it a border, Probably. That, that it's leaked over yeah, yeah. a little bit. It's nice because you can hold the whole ball in your hand, so it's it's a lot yes. smaller and it's a lot more accessible if, with kid for kids, um, and it's fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's still fun. It's yeah. a different a different game. It's a different game. Yeah. Um, so that is all the games today. Yes. Played Kobe Kobe. Uh, Food Ninja, Stellar Drive, and Strike Zone Bowling. Yeah. Uh, all excellent games. Kobe. So much fun. All of them. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've wanted to have to play a game like Stellar Drive for a long time on the 2600 because nice. I thought, oh, this is a perfect type of game. Yes. Where you're jumping around. It's a game that needs a patch score. <laughs> yes. For sure. I think um, it ramps up too quick. No, um, I think I think well, it does get fast. It it goes from normal to like double speed. Yeah, that's true. And and it needs to be somewhere in between. So and it don't... maybe it even doubles later on too. You never know. It, I bet it does. <laughs> um, um, yeah, they're all really really good. Kovi Kovi is a great two player puzzle game. I really like it. Yeah. Food Ninja is a great twist on uh, the Fruit Ninja. Mm -hmm. um, using a joystick instead of swiping on the screen it's great yeah uh, great it works, interface. it works very well stellar drive very fun i love the mechanics of that and just the whole concept around it mm. and strike zone bowling is like bowling to the extreme on the 2600 yeah absolutely stunning graphics it looks really really good and uh really fun really bowling really game good as well yeah yeah yep so great great games tonight yep uh, and a two-player game too which is fantastic yes so. that is really nice i love seeing two-player games um did i have anything no okay yep very good games very, very good, good games. games let's just see what's coming up there are no dates but there's plans <laughs> so i can show those let's see there we go uh plans for shows coming up uh, the 10 liner contest for 2023 is almost mm -hmm. over. Uh, I think that finishes in a couple days. 
Uh, that's where people make games on systems mm -hmm. in 10 lines of whatever code, usually basic. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a bunch of eight Atari 8-bit mm -hmm. um, computer games. One, two, three, four, five, nice. six so far. There might be some late entries. There's only a couple games tonight. A uh, couple uh, days left to go. So they might sneak under the wire. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be a day. We'll be playing those games. A day. Yep. And Vitoko has, uh, there's Vitoko in the Vitoko, chat. Vitoko, yeah. I think he has half of these. I'm sure. <laughs> his. I'm sure. Yeah, excellent. Uh, at, least, at least a couple of them. Yeah. Um, then I have another 2600 day nice. Space Taxi has advanced quite a bit. I'm looking forward to playing that in the show. It's on the edge of including it today, but I wanted to do advance a bit more. You need to put a Vectrex day in there. Just a wedge day. it in there oh, in, I have somewhere. The, uh, we need well, to check out all of the... And an Intellivision day, because yeah. I'm going to try the new joystick. We need to try out all of the... the what do you call them? The Overlays. Overlays, yes. thank you. Yeah. Uh, Space Taxi, there's a Happy Bird. Mm -hmm. So Flappy Bird. Mm -hmm. Cosmic Combat Redux, which looks a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. Andrew Davies' game, When Hop, The Search for Planet X, has advanced quite a bit. Mm. It's crazy. Uh, I want to see Tanya playing coordinator. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, so we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I'll yep. get my shot. Yeah, so we'll probably be doing this first. I have no dates because we're not back regularly yet. Vitoko, does it have the um, what is it? Uh, that perspective I dis I dislike. No, um, no, no. What's it called? It's 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 uh, an evolving maze game. Oh, excellent! We have to go collect. Love things, it, love it. And then okay. Go through the maze and get things and go back through the maze. But what's 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 the Cubert? What's the the Cubert oh, perspective? Isometric. Isometric. I'm like, no. is this isometric? No, no. <laughs> uh, there's a couple links games I have. Uh, some After Darks. Nice. Um, some 7800 games that we need to play. Yeah. Um, update to Rat Trap. There's ICBM Drone Patrol that are, we haven't played, and Game of the Bear Polar Opposites. I think nice. it's close to being done now. Nice, so. nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, some After Dark Load Runner. We need to get to the <laughs> finish all the levels. We need to get our pilot ID card for Gravitic Minds as well. And I'll keep watch on all the games coming out <laughs> so that we don't miss any. I'll keep adding to these lists. I don't know when we'll be back for reels. Um, I do want to do some programming for the 2600 first. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's some film projects I'm working on as well. That you're kind of pushing through? Yeah, I don't know how fast they're going to ramp up. They may ramp up really quick, really fast. Or there might slowly be... Slowly over time. Slowly yeah. over time. And in, if they're slowly over time, I can bring the show back. Yeah. If it's ramping up quick, it's going to be like... I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you'll figure it out soon enough, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it'll be more more sporadic shows. If, that if case, that's the yeah. case, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, 320? That's today. No, there's no After Dark today. We're mm -hmm. going to go lie down. <laughs> I'm going to go lie down. Uh, um, how were your flights from Australia? Uh, okay. Flight, well, oh... For the full flight, there's two legs in each time. Yeah. There's no direct flights to Australia, to Melbourne, from Vancouver. I don't think there is one. Like, probably not. Like, literally is not yeah, one. Yeah, probably not. Unless you charter your own jet or something. <laughs> um, on the way down, it's through. it was through um, San Francisco. We didn't get off the plane. Yeah. Because it was, like, barely enough time to get to the next plane. Yeah. I think we had, like, 20 minutes extra. That's crazy. That's a that's a short. Because our, our plane was late. Oh, okay. Leaving. Yeah. Um, I think it's 16, 17 hours total. That's insane. That's so Or 19? Long. I can't remember. <laughs> That's so long. No, it's like 14 to 15 plus 3 or 4. Okay. It's bad. It's terrible. I hate it so long. Yeah. It's like when we went, went to Japan. Yeah, it was long too. Yeah. And when I went to Australia last time, yeah, yeah. but that's been since 2015. Yeah. It was eight years ago, so I completely forgot how torturous it is. Yeah. Ugh. Um, and the and the way there was fine. I watched some stuff and yeah. mostly tried to sleep, but can't sleep. I can't sleep on planes. No. Even with earplugs, I had earplugs in. Yeah. Um, they turned down the lights, so that's not a problem. It's yeah. not that it's bright. It's just well, sleeping sitting up is so hard. That's I find that so the problem. hard. Yeah. Um, on the way back, 
we stopped over in Mel in um, Auckland? Auckland, New Zealand, and it was a nine hour layover. So we got out and went to Auckland. Yeah. And if anybody in the audience knows why Auckland smells like tropical flowers, <laughs> like the airport did, and a half hour drive into the city, it still smelled exactly the same. It That's amazing. It smelled really nice. Yeah. But why? <laughs> I searched it online and there's no comments about it. It's like, yeah. is it only a certain time of year? Yeah. Because we're there in the fall, right? Mm. Their fall. Because they're just coming out of summer. It was actually it's almost okay. fall there. Yeah. Because now it's now it's fall. Um, I didn't sleep on the plane. It was an over, overnight flight for four hours. So we got there at five in the morning. Mm -hmm. Everything was closed. Um, and so I didn't sleep that night. And I had a headache. And I forgot to pack or burn down the plane. Any, uh, Advil. Anything to cure headaches because I didn't, didn't think of it. Yeah. I did have a photo. Maybe I should check the photo, <laughs> check the photos. It's still... Yeah. Um, and then we went back on the plane and flew another 14 hours and <gasps> a headache the whole time. Oh, like, that's so awful. Brutal. Like holding my head like this for 14 hours. Oh, no. But I did watch five episodes of White Lotus. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Silly in parts, but yeah. overall very, very good. Yeah. I yeah. find more and more finding things a little silly if they're silly. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's comic relief relief and it's like oh no it's just silly yeah like a lot of things aren't going for like just inherently funny stuff they're yeah. going for oh it's a little over the top or somebody's acting a little crazy yeah. or they're doing something it's like man but like that's a small portion oh, okay well that's good um yeah didn't get any sleep again yeah so that was uh zero s and i didn't sleep the night before we left as well Oh, so that's for, brutal. I don't know how you managed that. I missed that. three nights of sleep. Ugh. I only got like maybe an hour total. I I, I was delusional. Yeah. <laughs> I, and then when we got back, yeah. I had we had four of the most important meetings I've ever had in my life. Like six hours after you landed. Yeah, six hours. So yeah. I went to bed, slept for four hours, and got up. Zero sleep home. Zero sleep home. <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> a good name for yeah. after dark. Yeah. Zero sleep home. Group. Um the, the meetings went excessively well which is good well. yeah. and you did get some sleep when you got home right four hours yeah but that you got something it, was, it helped yeah and then i pretty much slept for days yeah yeah uh, i, I had, can i can attest to that headaches for days that's after that, so bad after not sleeping for three nights that's really bad it was really really bad yeah it's the worst ever you need to you need to buy sleeping pills next time like force your body into That'd sleep I think that's I your only choice. Yeah. It's terrible. Oh, it's not good. Not uh, good. I picked him up from the airport at 6 a.m. and uh, I've never seen him look so bad in my life. <laughs> I picked bad. him up and I'm like, okay, you just go right to bed. <laughs> you look you look just beside yourself. Oh, yeah. Beside and then I yourself. I had to look awake for these meetings. Oh. Like these meetings were with the top film people in the world. Yeah. Well, for those for those production houses, right? Like the people you're talking the, the, to. Yeah, they represented yeah. these top companies. Yeah, like, and it's like I oh, was like, oh gosh. my god, yeah. oh my god, what is happening? Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, the 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 outcome of the whole trip was, was good, amazing. But the sleep the sleeplessness so, was not so good. Yeah. So. Yeah. So more more likely than not, our our project is going to do ha something happen. Good. good. <laughs> I don't know at what speed though. Yeah. So we'll see. That's fair enough. Uh, so thanks for hanging out yeah. with us, uh, RC70, Nostalgic26, Charles Wheel, and Dan ABC, uh, Vitoko, Chalcedony Mao, Nostalgic. Lots of names, it's great. Uh, yes, Metalunar7, Ricardo Pim, Gamma Dev, uh, Marco Johannes, thank you so much, Ricardo Pim and Marco Johannes, for uh, your awesome games mm -hmm. and letting me play them on the show. It's world premieres. Smitty, Smitty B. B, Hugh Jass, yes, yeah. everyone popped in, Carl, Carl G. G, yes, Fernando Salvio, mm -hmm. uh, Deactivated Styles, thank you for raiding with all your peoples, yes, uh, Kev Kelly, Dios Kilo, did you say, I did, okay, uh, Pack Rap VG, excellent, and all the other pull people. Pull map bot. And pull map bot, yes. Uh, and rendered Ooh. ghost. Yep. 
So we will be back whenever. So just keep watching all the social media. Soon. soon. And the Atari yeah. Age forums. Yeah. Oh, well, sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah. We've got well, a lot and of... And pop in here and there if, as you figure out what's happening. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll be doing the... Um, the 10 liner contest next next okay because that's going to be over soon over and i want to do that as quickly as possible yeah do it soon after it ends yeah, yeah. so it might be it might be friday okay because that's the next available day for you and i really as darcy rounds no that was last week okay okay all the social media but mastodon yeah i had mastodon but i don't like the splintering of mastodon like there's no central mastodon yes it's like yes. find me on mastodon at this server it's yeah. like can't they all talk yeah <laughs> <laughs> can all mastodons just kind of be splintered off and then talk to each other yeah. and i didn't like the impos i love the splintering says rc7 well the problem is there can be a zero page homebrew on this mastodon and then a bunch of imposters go on the other oh, ones yeah and then there's like oh which is the real one yeah I so it's, see that it, being I just found it a little, not confusing for me, but confusing for other people. Like, oh, I'm on this Mastodon, but you're not. Yeah. So I have to go to the other one to see your stuff. And also, I did sign up to Mastodon like years ago. Yeah. And there was no way to get, get rid of your account after that either. Oh, really? Yeah. It was like no way to get rid of it. Now Weird. there is. But okay. Well, that's I just good. left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. Um, maybe it's better now, but I... Eh. If all the other ones turn to crap, I'll go to Mastodon. Yeah. So far, they're just slightly turning to crap. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem is, of course, with new social media, nobody's on it. Yeah. So nobody goes on it. So nobody goes on it. Yeah, it takes a little while. <laughs> it takes yeah. a, a while. I mean, it's it's doing okay for all, for an alternative uh, social media. <gasps> You're vicious. I'm going to make you mad so you bite her. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> uh, it's going to so, bite you. Did you try post.news? I haven't even heard of that one. No. There's so many now, right? Um, because they're all trying to vie to be the next big one. The after, next Twitter after Elon after, Musk came along. That's right. Post. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's all political, of course. Yeah. Tons of political stuff because... Yeah. They clamp down on political stuff yeah, and all then the other it all ones. Moves. Yeah. So that's another unfortunate side effect yeah. of these alternative ones. It's full of political stuff. Yeah. Because they can't post it anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. George George Takei is there. Oh, okay. there you go. That's a bonus. <laughs> on Mastodon or Post News? I don't know. I like Spacey Space for all the space. News. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um. I anyway, want to, I don't want to talk about social media. James is, anymore. James is, yeah. I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for now. Thanks for all the people who tuned in mm -hmm. uh, on the spur of the moment. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for more or just uh, watch your pop ups for Twitch and uh, it'll pop up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night.